because hello everybody, I am Neon Icy Wings and we are going to continue our adventures here through Tunic. Last time we defeated two bosses at least, I believe. We beat the librarian, we beat the giant Bobbidi Ba guy in the something or other. I'm gonna quickly get his attention. Ah, oh, we gotta get their all attention. Very rude that I can't lock onto the gun guy game. Very fun. But yeah. I doubt that we can pray to that one, but there is just a save point right over, so why don't we try to pray? The answer is no, that one's been corrupted by the devil. We cannot pray to that one. Just means we have to kill the three guys again. I hate that it ate my roll input. Darn you, game. Screw you, tracker. Aimbot man. Aimbot must die. But at least I have my... I'm gonna have to use magic just to kill these dudes. Okay, game. I did not see him throw anything. You are totally not cheating, game. Totally not cheating. Gonna go ahead and kill the gun guy. And then we kill a sword man. I forget, those probably explode. Because they're red, and video game barrels are only ever red if they go boom. Oh, I thought we'd actually go down there. Through that way, but no, it's through this way. And once again, I want my gripe to be known. Why does the, the, the lantern only ever work in designated lantern zones? That's just a silly thing I don't like. That's like the one thing that I majorly don't like about the game so far. I can have my nitpicks when it comes to bosses or other such things, but so far that is like the only thing that is an actual, no, this is bad. This is something that's like actually bad design. I do not enjoy it. When it's like, you get a lantern. By the way, the lantern, even though it's there eternally and you don't ever see the character, like, turn on or off the lantern, it only works in certain places. Why is that? Screw you. Then kill the grenade throwy mans, because they're ugly and hideous. Gonna use up all my mana with those guys, cause ugh, we run away. We smart. And man, this area is dark. And once again, that's the main reason why a brain wants to gripe at lantern not lighting up things. Hmm. Does this do anything? No, it is just ground. Now that we're in the area of super, we're gonna suck the life out of you. I am fear fearful of a lot of things in this area. I feel like I'm going to be. But yeah, I, this place still intrigues me because it's like, ooh, fantasy. But then it's like, come to this area and bear witness to the dark and disturbing. And this is the map of this area. For some reason, I thought this area would be more, uh, what's it, uh, snow-covered. But okie doke, let's make journeys. I'm gonna go down this way first, because it feels like it might lead to a secret. It is, minor as it might be. Just, hey, you ran out of potions? You can heal with this. Okay, right, let's take a look. Apparently, there is a secret down there, potentially. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill him, because... Oh no, it's not a secret, it's a shortcut. Technically a secret there as well. 
defense boost laurel thingies. Basically the same as the super spice, do more damage. Well, not really super. It's just kind of like, hey, you want to do a bit more damage to enemies? Well, that was the luck of God. Ooh, the shield. I don't know what it does because <laughs> quite literally last time I asked the chat because I actually had an active chat like hey do you know what these do because yeah be, I totally would get that magic flask thing my first thought was oh it's going to improve it no it turns it to magic it's very weird I'm gonna put that on then because it looks like it would be shield I guess may no uh Maybe... Let me see something. Wrong button. Other wrong button. Alright. Game, stop it. From my most minor thing, it allows stamina to be... Uh, it allows stamina to recover faster while holding the shield out. <laughs> Excuse me. That is the most that I can gather. Oh, th this isn't even the right way to go. Darn the. Is the right way this way? No. Well, at least we have a shortcut. Or is this a shortcut? It might not be a shortcut. I may be dumb again. This is just the other side of this place brain at first thought, oh, we passed by it, which is technically true, but we didn't have access to it, so I'm going to go run back to the health restoration, heal up, because this is very much more dangerous than, oh, I just, I'm just low on health, now it is, oh, I have a lower maximum health, which technically isn't terrible, because I have more maximum health even when it's drained a bit because I've been upgrading it but still and since I have so much money let's go ahead and get more I guess more stamina go ahead and heal get rid of the affliction Game, why? Oh, he went out of range. Not game. I'm locked onto him. Stay locked onto him. You're gonna have ranged enemies. Let me stay locked on to the ranged enemies. Yeah, these guys are just annoying. Why do they exist? <laughs> I have brilliant game design. An enemy that runs away from you and is annoying. Brilliant. Hello and welcome to ranged only mode. Or just like waste all of your resources mode. Well, either that or corner them. Screw you, you weren't even there before. Yeah, I'm finding this section a bit annoying due to these guys. Which on one has like, oh, so you fight different kinds of enemies. Still can be annoying. Oh, that's a, a telescope hidden in the darkness. Maybe I should increase brightness ever so slightly. Just slightly so I can actually see in the darkness because my lantern does not work. Because, no, we don't get to have a lantern that's actually functional in this universe. It's just very silly. Go ahead and do that, because he might harass me throughout more sections of the level, and we can't have that.
Oh, hey. Why? That's just mean. We're gonna put an enemy here that you can't see. And you're gonna think it's a treasure. Good thing I went back, because I probably would have died from that surprise. Ew, we're gonna put a monster here and not a treasure, because we're jerks like that. While all the while, you don't even get to use your lantern. What's that? You want lantern? No, no lantern for you. How dare you think you can use a lantern when it is a lantern? Because technically it's not even a lantern, it's more a designated light source for specific areas. Eh, fine. Just was debating, should I run through, but then there would be more enemies. Alright, that guy is... So focused that he didn't even notice me. Just ignore me. Grenade. I don't like it when the game puts like. I, I enjoyed the pseudo smartness of the birds. Those guys are like, I'm just going to, like, run away from all your attempts to hurt me. That's just a chase enemy, not an actual... Oh. Oh. And this is just more pain and suffering to taunt me with, isn't it, game? Why have hopes and dreams when you can just say, Haha, how dare you even try to dream? We're probably gonna smack one of these pillars down, maybe. Like there has to be some way to get there. Ooh, maybe this will be where we get the uh, actually go over water, because there are many places throughout the rest of the game that, like, at least seem to feel like you'd be able to cross water a bit. But yeah, very mean to put presumably the only other. Well, I mean, to be fair, the other one isn't terribly far now that we activated the shortcut there, so it's not that far, but it's the principle of the matter. It's the principle of being hurt and pained. Another gold lead. It doesn't seem like there are any, like, grapple points with how much I'm using mana anyway. It would what? I slipped? How? How did I slip? What? Okay. Confusion. I do not understand. Well, I guess there's only one way into death. I suppose, unless... Okay, this place is kind of creepy with all the fog. Into doom. A part of me wonders if we're also going to get a... Like... Some kind of... Protection from this. Because that's what it kind of feels like it would be. To allow greater screw you double screw you yeah because this area is definitely feels like a jump in difficulty for no good reason Enemies that are annoying and run away from you. Enemies that are annoying and are ranged. And then just, oh yeah, and now we're also going to sap away your maximum health at regular inter <laughs> intervals. Just feels a bit bothersome. 
it doesn't really feel like difficulty. It feels just more like, here's a bunch of bother. We're gonna bother you. Are you feeling bothered yet? The aesthetic is nice. Like the ideas. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. That might help because I did read. Or did I? I don't think I actually, like, read read. It was just, like, uh, actually mentioned. Mentioned. In this cryptic hellhole. Uh, I could have sworn. I don't, I don't think I looked it up. Did I look it up? I don't think I looked it up. I just remember somewhere mentioning that mask. And that that mask like acts as a Hmm. So either this will allow me to breathe the miasma or it will be a diddly d that allows me to Maybe it'll be both. Maybe it will allow me to breathe my asthma. Eh, nope. My hopes and dreams of, of not being harassed by these guys has been smashed. But at least I don't have to worry about the miasma anymore, so... You can scratch that little bit of annoyance. A little bit, because... I feel sorry for the people that would like... Hmm, but at the same time, maybe there's gonna be another... Hmm... There might be a rest place in there. Might be a rest place right around the corner. I don't know. But, yeah, now that the miasma has been dealt with thanks to the gas mask. Because, like, I could have sworn that I saw somewhere in the manual mention or at least show the gas mask. And it's just like, oh, scavenger mask. It'll be related or something. Well, let's see, anything change here in the grave of the great lord hero? Does not seem to be much difference. Again, my going theory is that over there is where you get the final upgrades once you get all the other overworld upgrades. Get upgrades everywhere else, you can go there and like bing bang boom. Maybe if I pray here, something will happen. Dar. You think more light would be coming from there if light was coming from there. Not really a shortcut, but just a way down, because they didn't want to add stairs. Or a ladder. Were they afraid that somebody would get to this section? A different way and they're like oh we have to put something there to stop people from getting in maybe because it does feel like we're kind of heading back ish to a familiar realm of architecture and land hmm that's heading up. So I'm just trying to think. Eh, let's go up. Maybe try praying. Let's head up. This will either lead into more scavengers or the other side of the mountain is this a different mountain the same mountain part that would explain why there's a rope there, because, yeah. Okay, understood. This is like Dark Souls loop-de-loop -loop around. Alright, okay, I get it. This is here as like a... Probably some kind of looping mechanic so that uh, players don't have to go all the way through 
the forbidden pass up back to get to the mountain, so that means that we are going to be unlocking the mountain soon. And that's why the shortcut rope is a shortcut rope and not a ladder. It's because you can indeed get there b before you're ready. So my offhanded snark of, or actually maybe they just didn't want people to get here early, just turned out to be true somehow. Praise me, for I am the prophet. The prophet of Tunic. I, I thought I was on the ramp. Go down the ramp, you little scamp. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything marked. Oh, because it's... Um... Okay. Another secret passage. Interesting. This game just loves its secret passages. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have a gas mask. The miasma doesn't affect me anymore. I am very dumb. I can just do stupid shit. I am no longer bound to you. I can just tell you to fuck off. I dodged. Can't you tell when somebody's dodging, asshole? It means they become invulnerable for 50 years. But I'm wearing a gas mask, just like you. I learned it by watching you, okay? Why is it facing the other way? Is it gonna knock me off the cliff? Then why is it facing that way? Why? I'm very confused. Dynamite man, get back in the hole. So if you sneak up on him, you can kill him easily. I wonder what the scavengers are, like species wise. All right, they are standing about, maybe saluting a thing. Oh, no, nope, they're at target practice, but they're not doing anything. I don't even think they're the ones with guns. Let's see. Well, I guess that does make sense. That would be the shooting range, I guess. This way. Idiot. I'm gonna run towards the explosives. And that's why Bill isn't alive anymore. Because he died. He he he. And today we will show you Bob's skull. Because we have no respect for him. I also just kind of noticed that there's been a shocking lack of grapple points in this area. I guess you could technically come here before you get the grapple hook. But still, it feels weird that the game would be like, here's the grapple hook. And various other places like yeah grapple hook yeah grapple hook and then the game just goes and now your grapple hook privileges have been suspended well that's not good design at all why did he hear me ah 
I don't like that. Game, I pressed A. Oh, well, we thought you wanted to roll. <laughs> You're dumb. I'm here to murder. Yeah, I wonder what kind of sick lore I'm missing on this game, because this game has... It's very interesting. Again, I say, why can asshole see me so soon? That doesn't feel like good design to me. Oh, put on the muffling bell! How about fuck off? Don't let enemies shoot at player when on ladder. Especially because it feels like I wouldn't have been able to shoot him. Because now the game has me like, oh, I have to be in a certain range to shoot enemies. So I'm not going to want to be shooting very quickly. If game wants me to shoot more, then let me actually shoot game. <laughs> but we can't have you just sniping across the map. Well, they can. And I have magic! Why do they get to be snipers, but I don't get to? Maybe that'll happen when I get the gun. Either that or the game is lying to me and it's just, oh yeah, that's the sniping or like the firing range. And it's just like, and I can't get a gun from the firing range. Then again, you'd think I'd be able to take a gun off of dead corpses. But by that same logic, I could like beat the like, fallen soldier dudes that were at the beginning of the game to death with a stick and take their sword, but same logic applies in the game. Say, so see, through this previous logic, we can't do that. But I want a gun, and I want to murder my enemies with the gun. Now we're just heading off into a weird direction. Is this a... It is. Elevator. Ah, and it takes me right back to the... The diddly D. Grand looping design. Grand, grand looping design. That is one thing that I unequivocally adore about Tunic. All the minor nitpicky gripes aside. This game is fantastic. But all games must suffer nitpicky gripes. It is just the way of things. Hmm, but I do want to think and ponder. Maybe I can... Maybe there was another elevator. Back towards that direction. Now I need to see which is faster. I think it would be faster to use the elevator and go around that way. Though that would mean then that the elevator would be unavailable to me. Die, sniper man. No more sniping for you. Sorry, Sniper Man, you can't shoot me. I'm too fast. Oh, they do have guns. But there doesn't seem to be a way down there for me. Ah, it's not even a physics object. Sad. Or is there? No, there might actually be a way in there. I could have sworn that I went uh, try that way. A failure on my part. But as I go about to seek secrets and such, 
One reason, uh, well not reason, bleh, brain is just bleg. But one thing that I was pondering today was if I wanted to stream Digimon, Cyber Sleuth, or this. I eventually decided this because I feel like if I uh, took too long a break from this, I would eventually forget I knew it. <laughs> a gun? All right, it's close range damage. All right. I wanted to shoot the target. So that's like for bosses, I feel. That's actually for sniping. All right, now we'll head back up so that we can reset the elevator. It's a good thing I went back, because now I have an extra attack. And did I... Uh, am I... Did, huh. There's just a chest down there. Probably because there's a secret path through here. More than likely. I'm just missing it. Maybe not. Darn it! This is why see. This is why I both love and hate secrets. Secrets are fun to discover, but then eventually you're just gonna be like, "Oh, now I'm looking for secrets everywhere, and there might not be any." Haha! <laughs> you missed, fool. Huh? And he's just blindly shooting now. Fun. Can I pray to you? I have a gas mask now. But first we shall rest, then we will sacrifice for even more. I wonder if there's a like a, a mass a, a max that they'll actually tell me about. Doubtful, but still. One can hope that the game will be like, yeah, you hit the max for this. I'm like, oh, now I can go to the shrine and be like, giveth me ultimate power, dead boy. But that's just why we'll constantly be wanting to check in on the grave of the hero from time to time. Are we down where we saw at the beginning of this area? Are we down where the big door was? We are! I knew it. I knew it. This is... No, it wouldn't make sense for this to be the scavenger base because how would they get in here well, I mean I guess it's possible that well they could have maybe like blown in and then the security system like locked down the place but okay boss fight time I have a shotgun I didn't even need to pray for that one. Okay, that's kind of disturbing that I can actually... And once again, lantern not working. Oh boy, tons of the fairies. Just in the background. This really is, like... I keep calling it Heart of Etheria, but... It kind of is. Inside the ziggurat. That was mentioned... I believe, by the manual. That the boss hangs out at the ziggurat. But yeah, then the question is, how did they get in here? Because there was no other entrance or exit. Uh-huh. What you? What? Okay! That... 
that's a shrine. That's a heal shrine. But technology. So I am right. The magic of this world really is just technology. Oh, thank you for killing your friends. They just came out of nowhere and scared me. And those are going to be three. Okay, that's bothersome. Luckily, I can get magic back. Alright, I don't like this section already. Just bunches of turrets me no likey. Then again, I kind of activated more than they probably wanted you to try and deal with at a time. I thought I did an extra one. And they have auto-lock. I hate that. Why are there so many, Bob? Again, they just have auto-lock for no reason. I hate that. Oh yeah, you're farther away than we can activate and actively shoot at you. But we're just gonna magically hit you from very far away. My magic doesn't do that. Why does your magic get to do that? Let's see, how much damage does that do? An okay amount. I want it to get closer so I can harvest its magic. No, why luck onto that, stupid game? I legitimately call it stupid game. Why would I want to lock into anything but the enemy? Game. Please. There's a chest down there, so interesting. What be you? Oh yeah, we ran into one of those. In one of the ruins, I think the sewer? We, we ran into that somewhere, yeah. Very interesting. Alright, so I'm guessing that's... Oh, hey, you don't want to deal with the freaking super-duper annoying turrets again? Go this way. Thank you, game. You know exactly what I want. Not to suffer. Enemy or prey? Because you might turn in... I knew it. Like, the moment I saw, like, the indents, I'm like, this is gonna... Oh, hey, round two, because we can't just have nice things. Die. didn't even reimburse me all my magic. But hey, at least we should be able to ignore that one in the future. Hell, it might not even respawn. But yeah, overall, very interesting. My brain is getting cooked. Right now, this side, fool. That's where we open it from. Then again, the game is just like, you can replenish your magic with these! And it's like, bold of you to assume I'll remember consumable items when my brain is just like, don't use the consumable items. You'll lose the consumable items. Because that's just how brain works. Roundabout, roundabout, round, around, around, about, okay. Yeah, 
I might break. It, it feels like there's a lot of ways to go. Further into the cigarette of doom. For some reason, I'm getting a Tales of Symphonia feel from this. Could be just like the magic, magic, magitech vibe. I have no healing. Damn turrets. Hello. That's like the spirit that was contained, uh, like when we first, like, uh, died, revived, and saw them. But it also kind of reminds me of the librarian. Oh no. Last time we played this, we uh, had an active chat. One of the chatters is just like, oh yeah, I hate those things. And I'm like, what things? Apparently we're gonna be running into those things now. Ha <laughs> Cause all I remember was they were very like purple. Uh Very much no. And now there's movement. It could just be the technology, but when is it ever just the technology? I would like it if the game would give me a checkpoint. Oh. They become the towers, the monoliths, and the scavengers are either trying to free them or destroy them. All right, welcome to Nightmare Land. Do not take off your gas mask. So like what, are foxes, fox souls, like the ultimate powering device? Because these guys could easily be like foxes, but with like white fur. Well, this game has started to instill a sense of fear into me. Joy! Alright. Oh boy. Hello, friend. Not exactly what I was expecting, but... Not terribly off either. All right. Oh, that's probably why they're hated. And every hit drains your maximum health to boot. All right. I'm going to put back down that because if they're going to give so much magic, I should use it. There is no strategy. Why do the little ones take so much damage as well? Yeah, I was gonna say, oh, that's not too bad. No, it's pretty bad. And they must explode. They just have to. Oh, we just get another one. Neat. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could probably use the grappling hook. I 
Because speaking of grapple... Either that one was broken... Or what? I don't know. I was dodging game. Have a grenade. Grenade. <laughs> I kind of hate this. That they blind you so much. But I get it, you're supposed to- Ah, you- That's not good. Why are they so many? I also hate that they lunge so much, or they're so fast. Why do they get so much lunge? Leg. And now that we annihilated them at the cost of our entire dynamite supply. Let's hope they don't spawn too many more. But hey, they're not as horrifying as I expected. Because they don't have the fox heads. I thought we were actually going to be fighting the entirety of the things that were being sealed up into the bibbity bop. Fire, it says. Kill it with fire, I presume. Oh, hey, another save point. Huzzah! Well, I'm gonna guess the boss of this area is gonna be a big one of them. Grenade! Also kind of hate their reach. Okay, screw that. Love the music, though! Music is very, very nice. So yeah, very disturbing. Weird spirit souls being locked into these. Being used to power everything, the miasma. Basically being their broken and dead bodies. I wish I had a map of this area. Yeah, I feel like this might be a roundabout. Yeah, it's a chest. Oh, that reminds me, there's a chest back there. Ah, the game knows! Oh, you've been using a bunch of your bombs. Let's reward you for it. I'm not gonna rest just yet. I'm just gonna head back for the chest. Get everything. The background noise sounded like something jumping out of the miasma. Very disturbing. Oh yeah. 
I'm very lost to the world that's going on currently. Hmm, I should probably rest. Hope that the two boss thingies don't respawn, but if they do, I should be able to run past them because the thing's been powered up. So hopefully, hopefully. Oh no. Well, yeah, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. The kind of boss attack thingy still happens, but you have your way out. For a moment, I thought it was the, creep my the creepy miasma monsters coming to haunt me. No, it's just the light of the entrapped souls going down into... <laughs> Oh. Is this because the foxes are able to, like, revive themselves? And they're like, let's use the immortal souls of the foxes to power things? But then what does that make the scavengers? What does that make me? Yeah, that'll power you. I wonder what's in there. How many of the soul thingies are just out here? Oh, okay. That's like, hey, you want to leave? You want to do other things? I don't know if there's even that much to do. But I do know that the final boss is probably up here. It's probably the Scavenger King. No idea what he's doing down here. When all of his buddies are dead. Okay, not like Scavenger King, but Boss Scavenger. All right, that's kind of annoying. Another annoying. Did, was that my grenade or did he drop? He kicked me. I hate that he's a backswing. Okay, game just literally rolled me into a terrible position. Once again, game is just having a mind of its own. My dodges. The game just does not want me to do anything. Okay, game. I hate that it, like, zooms in on me. Okay, this boss is kind of annoying because, oh, he did damage to you, zooms in on me. That's kind of annoying game. Just FYI, we in the biz call that annoying. But I'm going to try and just freeze him a bunch. Freeze him and bomb him. Let's freeze him a bunch. I hate the timing. Oh, that's him throwing a grenade. I have issues with that. Hey game, have better dodging if you're gonna make a boss like this. He has way too much recovery on his attacks, if you ask me.
Why is he just spamming attacks game? Stop. His movements are weird and again, that just does not look like he's throwing a grenade to me. Everything just feels weird. Again, I hate that it zooms in on me. Stop that. Focus on the boss. Quit fucking with the UI game. <laughs> I don't like that. I really don't like it's like he damaged you. Zoom in on you. Quit fucking with my perspective. Let me see the boss. Asshole game. <laughs> That's just an asshole thing to do. You don't get to see anything else. You only see you when you take damage. Yeah, his movements are so weird. And it again, now it's just like it feels like it's eating my rolls. I don't like it. That sudden, oh, don't get up in the enemy. And you know, ate my roll again. Don't know how I manage that. How many attacks does this guy have? Why does he have so many attacks? Why does he get to throw grenades? Why does he get a gun? Why does he get to zone me the fuck out? Stop that! I hate it when the game does that. Zoom in on me. Fuck off! He has way too many options. Yeah, just... Most of all, this guy just feels annoying than anything. And again, it feels like it ate my role. <laughs> Maybe I'm just so used to Dark Souls roles taking precedence over everything, but it's just like... It worked for the most part in previous fights because bosses were more, like, slow and methodical. This guy's just an asshole and I don't like him. I also hate that it's like, oh yeah, we're not gonna let you... Stay like this. Have I found the glitch? Okay, fuck off, game. <laughs> He's gonna do two attacks in a row, and that's totally fair. <laughs> the same attack in a row. The... Yeah. Yeah. They're giving him a little too much, if you ask me. It's too much. That one's too sudden, if you ask me. It's like, I don't know. This boss just feels wonky. And again, just hate that he has grenades. Stop zooming in on me! <laughs> I hate that! I don't care if it's meant to mean anything, the game hasn't told me anything! If the game isn't... Fuck off of your zoning bullshit! Fuck off of your zoning bullshit! <laughs> Just 
just feels wonky as hell. Maybe I could be dodging his attack or like blocking his attacks more, but since they do knockback, it just feels weird. Why is he spamming attacks so much? You don't feel like you should be able to do that. Here's an attack twice in a row. It just feels bothersome and annoying. Also, it doesn't help that blocking hasn't felt like much of a an obligation. So now that we're at this point where maybe blocking is super important, it doesn't feel like it. And I think he still did damage to me there anyway. All right, that worked. He used that as movement. Dang it. Okay, block more. That's the secret. Apparently. Block more. Okay, got it. Will you fuck off? <laughs> I hate his kick. And that one's still way too quick, if you ask me. This just feels so weird. Blocking definitely helps, but... This fight feels so weird. Movement. That one's still too quick, if you ask me. Luckily, his grenades can damage him. So, yeah. Not a bad fight, but it just felt out of place here. Almost. But let me guess, you have a phase two. And you're gonna be like, no, don't touch it, that's mine. Or maybe you... Then again, the other guy, the other guy's body remained. Yeah, he's just dead. Or maybe he'll run after me. Yeah, that just felt like a weird boss fight. Definitely was harder because it had more attacks. A more like more attacks, more variety of attacks, faster attacks. Especially when compared to the giant east fortress boss, which was big. And while it did have big attacks, they were slow and well telegraphed. The other boss was the Librarian, who was also well telegraphed and mostly a bullet hell. But with that one, it's just like... It oh yeah, we're not... I don't think we can grab it because we're not like the super soldier yet. Frame is just like, oh, but that's the one. It's the middle, that means it's the default point. And I guess I can take that off at last. Because we're not going to be dealing with miasma. Unless, my, unless all the fox spirit souls are breaking free of the technology. Wrong one! I think then it was... Uh, let's check the thing. There should be teleporter guide somewhere. Or was it further ahead? Did we use this one? Did we use this map before, or... That's in the mountain, I'm going to assume. The mountain biggity big is probably where that is. Actually, you know what? I want to visit the... Well, first of all, to kill you. Kill off the basic enemies. 
I wonder if the miasma monsters are going to become a super prevalent force. Because they were annoying, in my opinion. They sap your max health while they break off into multiple pieces and swarm you. But I want to see. I want to visit the... My actual offerings are here. Interesting. That's cool that my actual offerings are there, but that also means that I'm missing, like... I hope there isn't a gather everything 100% true ending, where if you give all the offerings, because that just feels like a little bit too much obligation to put on the player. Let's see, how much money do I have? Hmm. I feel like if I do a bit of grinding... Actually, you know, hmm. You know, super what? If I do do a bit of grind, well, let's see. I forget, how much of things are in here? Because I think there's another healing potion that the merchant sells. There's a coin and the bottle for a thousand. I shouldn't have bought as many dynamites as I did. I probably would have then been able to get both. But yeah, I'm not going to go grinding. One more heal probably isn't going to be that important. So yeah, again, it's very interesting the dynamic of the ancient stone and fire, like worship magic, the kind of medieval one, and then the... like super magic technology that's harvesting fox souls, keeping them in stasis, dragging them down. So then this will unlock the way to the mountain path, but then again, what about the other thing? The golden, and all the, tr ah, there's so many little things. The deal with the grave of the hero, the deal with the golden monolith with the two holes, that I feel is connected to the various doors. I'm still waiting for the moment that the runes become... <laughs> what now, the game says, is an achievement. Either all that fell to the... I don't know. First, we're going to go check the golden monolith, because I do believe this is heading towards the golden monolith. See if there's anything changed there. Then we'll go check up on Ghost Mother. Do I have anything to offer? No other offerings. Again, hope there isn't a 100% completion dealy. Still no, no idea what your deal is. I thought I could one-shot those guys. Did things get stronger, or did I get weaker somehow? Let's head up to the mountain door. And another question is just like, what were all of these guys' deals with the... like, magical diddly deeds? Like, the, the red rod was used to power the ancient machine and then you use the red rod to activate the holding place for the red pendant. The green pendant was apparently powering the downstairs or something? Alright, if it's not here, let's 
head to the teleporter and see if the spirit is freed. And then, like, what's the deal with the scavengers? Why were they destroying the soul boxes that power society, apparently? Why is this section all medieval and Zelda, whereas the other places were like... What is it? I'm trying to think of the game. Code Vein. Felt kind of Code Vein up in there. And I must say, it is a little rude of the game to be like, haha, what now? Especially as an achievement, because it's like, I don't know, game. Guide me. Can I take the pendants? Because, I mean, they're... I highly doubt the magical spinny doohick is going to rise back up. Will that activate the... Like, shrine of the dead guy? Will I be able to access the final upgrades? But it is very interesting that the power source is like the these gangly, dark, corrupted souls of foxes. And when power derived from them is like broken out into the world, it's toxic. Unless you wear a gas mask. I'll go see if the spirit's doing okay. Alright, the spirit is now freed, apparently, but... What does that mean for me? Maybe if I pray? Maybe I should have prayed to them while they were trapped there. So maybe if I rest at a... Shrine, they'll come smack me up? Because we already tried the mountain door. We know that they're gone now, that they escaped. So let's rest and see what happens. Nothing happened. Yeah, door in the mountains. Nothing there. Oh, that's it. The scavenger's mask. This is where it was. Mentioned. And apparently there's like a... Something 60 seconds, monolith, star, then, hmm. Let's see, let's take a look at the map. Because we beat the boss of the scavengers. We beat... But we never found the bell, no, the, the holy cross. We never found the holy cross. Maybe we should go back to the librarian? This place? We beat you, but we never did go to that one cave down this way. And we didn't find the other page, because again, we can't cross over water, so we can't get certain things. We haven't found the final upgrade either.
like the final upgrade item. Coveted in the forest temple, stolen to the top of the sky, sealed at the root of the world. Ringy, hmm. Ringing the East Bell incre includes the East Forest, the ho Hero's Grave, and the Guard Captain, which we all went through. Ringing the West Bell includes the Old House, the Flooded Well, Dark Tomb, West Garden, and something else. We already did all that. So, hmm. Last thing that I can only think of. Let me just check this. Yeah, pray in front of monoliths. I'm just pondering things. We never did find the the cross, and I don't think we went like to this section. It doesn't feel like. like I don't know. Part of me wants to go to like the major hero's grave to the far left. Because now that we're left on our own devices again, Brain is feeling flustered. And that guy still exists. So, like, did we, like, free a good spirit? Or are they going to betray us? That's the question. I probably shouldn't have come this way, but it's like, I don't know. My brain's on fire, and I just have like 50 different ideas of what to do and where to go. How dare you hit me when I was hitting you? That's just the rudest thing to do. Oh. How dare you hit me when I'm hitting you? Bastard. Yeah, my brain is just on fire pondering. It's like, hmm. Whence go where, what, why? Did we go this way? It feels like we did. Yeah, we did. Brain's just like really wondering where to go and what to do now that the main objective that we've been going towards the entire game has been accomplished, and now the game says, lol, find out the rest for yourself, idiot. So I'm thinking of visiting the hero's grave. Because then maybe it'll be like, congratulations, you did a thing, and now you get access to all these super goodies. Like, every single current, like, uh, upgrade dilly that's, like, there, you can grab. Because, like, the the bridge will be uh, gapped or something, Blake. Now be careful, because I fell off the edge of the world here. That one time that freaked me out. I guess pray and see if any of these doors open. Which wouldn't really help me because I forget where the majority of those doors are. Now. Visit the hero's grave. 
see if there's anything different here. If not, I have absolutely no idea what to do. The only other thing I can think of is to head back to the DDDD. The scavenger realm. Because we did kill the boss scavenger. And got the thing that was powering the... Well, maybe powering. It was being contained at the root of the world, as the game said. And maybe that will have an effect on the monastery. And we need to do something at the monastery to then have access to the like uh, the mountain door that's all I'm thinking of right now and again we don't have the power to walk on water just yet because I assume there has to be some kind of levitation or something or other to cross bodies of water because over here on that one, like, loose island piece above the bridge, but uh, below the dark tomb, like, front lawn, there is a manual piece there. And I have... I don't think... All right, that's a new thing. We're going to try and use the grapple hook, because it's, it's kind of a grapple hook thingy, to try and grab the manual piece. I know there are other missing manual pieces, but I'm not sure where they are specifically. The only one that immediately jumps to mind that I've seen and know that we can't haven't gotten is that one up there. Any other potential manual piece that we might have missed, but I couldn't get just yet, eludes me. Yeah, we're gonna go over there and see if we can grapple shot ourselves. A diddly -dee. And again, I have no idea what the. Uh, bop, bop, bop. Like, I have no idea what the. Now I'm just losing my train of thought. They're like, okay, why? Obviously, that's there for a reason. So that you can, like, get that and then jump up there again. But I don't know why. I'm just, I'm losing my mind. The brain has a million things it wants to do. And then there's also that other thing in the grave air, like, a. Uh, that place beside the dark tomb that yeah it's like I don't know why you exist yeah, it's just like it feels like we should be able to get that and then there's shit in here and then there was also that secret room where that dude was just patrolling What if I prayed? Wait. Uh, we do have firebombs. Wait, that's not firebomb. That's firebomb, of which we only have one. So don't waste it. I think I wasted it. So, yeah. We are going to go with the original plan now of heading to the... Bibbidi bop scavenger land and see if anything's changed there. Because I have no idea of which where anything else could possibly be done. Aside from meandering randomly. Just gonna rest here, get my health back up, and the various things that I've wasted back up as well check see there's nothing else that we can offer to the statue so 
yeah. We're going to... Wait. We can buy one of the things. Either a gold coin for... I'm just going to grab the health pot because... I don't think there are many of those little, hey, magical dibbity dop um, thingy things that I really care about. I pray to the Lord. I'll buy the health potion. Seriously, that, that guy's always been creepy. All right, now we're going to teleport. Back to the scavenger's grave area. I forget which one's which, so we'll have to take a look at the manual. All right, let's take a look at the manual. Jump all the way back to... Somewhere in here where it has teleportation instructions, or was it ahead? Teleportation instructions. Teleportation instructions. Well, first things first, because I'm curious, let's head back to the library, the librarian slash cathedral, whatever. Let's go see if his dead body is still there. He is. I pray to you. Kind of weird that the body sticks around. Then again, it would also be kind of weird if the body uh, disappeared. When there's nothing to happen to it up here. But it just feels like there needs to be more. And this guy... This guy feels like he's the... Like, one of the... Like, he seems to be a fox-like creature... And he kind of has the proportions of the ones that are being stuck in these pillars. So maybe that could be a, a lore thing that I'm missing. Alright, let's... Wrong button. Eastern Vault, Quarry, West Garden. Ruined Atoll. Oh. What if we need to go here now? Boss battle? You took the sword, didn't you? The red, the green, the blue. Well, at least we found the right place. The air. Oh, that's that's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying, yeah. So either I meant to die there because they were doing tons of damage. Just absolutely tons of damage. And I feel like there was another fox-like figure over there. Oh, I'm a ghost now. I'm a ghost boy. Alrighty. So, do I now wander the lands? Going to the various places to regain everything? I can't read you. You're not real. Game is rude and does not give me access to ruin language.
but very interesting. Hello, sir. Something bad. So, yeah. Perhaps my... Maybe the diddly D. Now we basically have to check out everything. Once more. Fourth key. So there's apparently a fourth key. Siege engine. Hero is a fool. Gonna head up. See if anything's changed with the diddly dop. If nothing there, we will head down and check out the... Like... What is it? Oh. That's missing. So we have to actually walk around. Then why put the ladder there? Just take the ladder away. <laughs> so that I most immediately recognize... Ah. So, like, are all these foxes previous heroes who have died on their journey? Died to the supposed heir? So there doesn't seem to be any enemies. Can't go that way. Would be interesting if this was different. But the map will probably be the same. So now it's going to lie to me. I guess... So there's got to be a way over. Because there's more foxes that we can talk to. Even if we don't know their language. Oh wait, there's a fox down there. And I'm going back and forth because I have an idea. I want to see if I can pray to this. Nope. I just saw it on the wall and was like, eh, give it a shot. Hello there. Swamp. So, fourth key, siege, engine, hero is a fool, swamp. Have we been to a swamp? Cathedral, ghost. Ah, the Holy Cross, I'm guessing. We never did get to this one before. Don't know what that will do. But I'm presuming the game wants me to go that way. And I don't think there's anywhere we can go. Like, except to places that we've already been to and don't mean anything. So yeah, we'll probably... It's probably a better idea just to go that way to the cathedral. To see... go down there, but there doesn't seem to be anything to do. And once again, there's another one of the diddly dees that we can't get to. So I'm guessing the Holy Cross might be like, I don't know, a boomerang that brings items back to me. Cathedral Moonlight. Yes, yes, the Moonlight Greatsword. Big Fight. It seems like the... Like the librarian was here. Because of all these wires and stuff, trying to link things back together. Old burying ground. I was gonna hope that, like, that one in the top right corner would finally have use as a map. 
definitely feels like a burying ground. Look hither and thither, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Plain vague sounds in the background. Kind of funny we can still open chests like this and we get berries. We're still gonna pray to this this one that killed us. He, she, it, they. We don't know who they are. They're freaky and big. Coin. I don't think it actually does anything. Ah, we have done seven. Wow, these guys have lots of health. Or maybe it's just that one. I wonder what it would have been like if we went up to the merchant like this. Well, we are recognized by whatever controls this hellscape. Don't know if that's a good thing. Hmm. Let's see. Perfume. Wonder what that means. Sure, I want to smell nice. That one has gonna, that one's gonna have a golden skull. Oh no, they don't have lots of health. It just seems like they take less damage as they're coming down to the ground, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Brain is still kind of on fire. I'm trying to learn everything. Learn, think, and ponder. Kind of makes sense that the enemies we're fighting are undead. What? All right. The haunted spirits. Interesting. Hmm. But now I'm starting to feel like this is the way it wants me to go. But at the same time, it might not be. That's another thing about these games that are like, oh, secrets! Because it makes me feel like I'm going the right direction all the time. When I want to do, like, side areas a lot. And if I do side areas a lot, and I don't know which way to the side area is the side area, it just everything goes hell. Oh, that's not good at all. Gone. I hate when the game's like, oh yeah, your enemies can hit you, but you can't hit your enemies. Oh, come on, that should have done something. You set it up to actually be a thing and it's not gonna go through? How dare. You put a gold skull on a grave and put a hole in front of the grave and I put push the skull into the grave and nothing happens? How dare. It was literally the biggest opportunity for something. And you're like, nah. You don't get something. In fact, you get nothing. Nothing for you. Nothing for you! And no idea how to get up. Wait, did I just miss a treasure chest? I think I did. 
This place is weird and funky. So yeah, this seems to be like gold coin and money area. Interesting. Still don't know what about that uh, gold skull. Everything is weird. Everything has been weird. But let's go ahead and toss yet another gold coin in. Because now I think we're one more away from another upgrade dealy. Maybe. Wrong one. I wanted to run. The game's like, you want to pray to the god that has murdered you? Okay, that's actually neat. Or will the Holy Cross just allow us to become a ghost the entire time? And maybe as a ghost we don't have to worry about water too much? Also, I'm going to repeat my aggravation from the forest boss, but why can't we run and lock on to an enemy at the same time? It just makes no sense to me. Especially enemies that, like, are gonna run away. Why can't I chase down enemies that are running away? Well, let's go ahead and activate this. Hopefully the monstrous spirit doesn't break out in revenge. But yeah, see, like, enemies like that... It's like, I'd really like to be able to, like, properly run after them. But the game doesn't let you do that. It just feels weird. How dare you live that much. But nope, does not seem to be because uh, ghost us cannot properly traverse things either. Only shallow water. Hey, another gold coin. Oh, is that the castle place that, uh... Is it... This place? Yeah, it's the cathedral. Well, we're, we have the map for that area laid out then. Oh, right, you just, you went flying like a jerk. Die. That's kind of annoying. It went up the ramp and then I couldn't hit it. My favorite type of enemy, the one that I can only hit like once before it runs away again. And you can't even say, just upgrade your mana, because we're at the point in the game where the game said no more mana for you. I mean, I could eat the berries, but why would I want to eat the limited resource? Why waste the limited resource? How dare. What? Oh, sure. Uh, Tink goes the shield, but game says, oh, you don't actually get to hit them. This is basically a whack-a-mole enemy. 
Ah, you get to hit him once every blue moon. My favorite. Why, game? Why? Why have such annoying-ass enemies in your game? They also do the stupid thing of like, hee-hee. If you get hit, you lose health. Ah, shortcut. Big creepy ladder that looks more like a bunch of spears than anything. Uh, no, that's not a shortcut, is it? Is this a shortcut? It is. I don't remember that being there. Maybe because I just didn't look there. Let's go look. I'm going to assume merchant. Yeah. Now you're even selling more coins for 990. Too rich for my blood, sadly. Ah, uh, yes, nearly a thousand coins for those when quite literally I've been given two. This, uh, this play session. Yeah, and here I thought that would actually have done it. Oh well. But now I want to see. Is this just, uh, going to the left? Eh, yeah, you're boring me. Die. Ah, I think I'm partially right. Maybe the game does want me to go to the grave of the hero and take the hero's power. Don't know why the game designers are like, we're gonna put two annoying runaround enemies in the same area and everybody's gonna love it. The ghosts that are invisible until you hit them. And then if you try to lock on to them, like, hee hee hee, I'm gonna fly away. Which means you have to unlock your lock on targeting because you can't run with the lock on, which I think is dumb, personally. Once again, why do you exist? You're just an annoying ass enemy, and I don't want to waste my mana on you. Oh sure, I could try and parry the super dash from the enemy. Or I could play it safe, get guaranteed damage. Which, in my opinion, is bad design. Would you like the guaranteed or but boring, or the potentially exciting but horribly ill-advised. It just is bad design. Reminds me, uh, not nearly on the same level or anything, but for some reason it reminds me of Bioware's decision uh, for Mass Effect 1. Because in Mass Effect 1, there comes a point where you need to decide between saving one character or another. And in the early stages, to the point where even character lines and dialogue were recorded, they were going to let you be able to save both of them, if you did everything right. But then they decided, oh, that's what everybody will do, if they are given the option to save them. <coughs> if they are given the option to save everyone, they are obviously going to take the option to save everyone. So by instead forcing the player to choose between saving one character or another, they made it vastly more memorable and interesting. And it just kind of came to me from the idea of, here's the one thing that you basically should always do. Which, which are you going to do? Are you going to not get the guaranteed damage? Like, sure, if you're super confident in your skills of parrying, you might want to. But the average player is just gonna say, fuck it, and just waste their time a little bit. Alright. 
is just ever so slightly annoying. So yeah. It got its head poked up and looked at me. Very disturbing and interesting. This is obviously not like... Very interesting. How dare you hit me. Only I'm allowed to beat me. Again, the game is like, no, we're not going to lock on to the enemy that's right next to you. That's dumb. We're going to lock on to the enemy that's up in the rafters. Why game? That's just a very silly thing game. Why must the corpse block my path? I'm going to quickly make my way back because once again, game making side areas feel like major areas. <laughs> like that's an entire thing that made me suffer a bit in God of War 1 or 2. I forget which one. I think it was 1. Where the game was mean. And it's just like, here's this side path. But we're going to make it look like a main path. So uh, the player character, the player will want to go a different path, which is actually the main path. It's like, it is a very tricky thing to, like, uh, try to design around. Like, how do you design around players that don't want to go the main route while still telegraphing to the casual, usual player? Hey, this is what you do. This is where you go. Very weird to see the skulls just plop on down. Okay, good. I can just pass them by. Don't mind me, I'm just sneaking. Once again, why go after that enemy? And why are they all coming now? Well, I guess they do have a, oh, you damaged in me, therefore the alarm has been rung kind of mechanic, I suppose. Like, not universally, apparently, just kind of proximally. It's very weird. This place is very freaky. Carrots. Oh, no, not carrot. It looked like a carrot, but it's just another jalapeno. The main reason why I questioned it so much was because... Why would they introduce a new consumable item this late into the game? Ah, uh, more birds. Again, I say... I loathe wasting my time, and these are just the time wasters. At least let me hit them twice. Technically, I'm not even hitting them once in that one guy's case, because they come at me in my batch that's kind of off foot, so I can't risk getting hit. Why, game? And why is there so many of them? 
Yeah, I get it. It's like, hey, use magic. Okay, I managed to get two hits in there. Nice. It would be nice if this type of enemy is like, if they stored the magic of the attacks you hit them with. So, you'd get all of the magic that you hit them with. So, you still have to time your magic right or you risk losing magic by missing them. That would make it an interesting mechanic. But, then again, this isn't the type of game to tell you anything because everything is in runes! So, what do I know? It just feels like the more I play it, there's this like ever so slightly teeny tiny things that I wish the game did differently. Oh, these ones are like fully alive. That's fucking annoying. Oh, that's very fucking annoying. <laughs> Why are they just randomly rolling? There to mimic the player. Yeah, and that's never fun to fight. <laughs> Why? Also, it doesn't help that unless... The, was there a... Uh, this was probably, yeah, the shortcut at least. Which is probably why they felt it was adequate to be assholes there. Yeah, use more of your magic. I don't want to. Especially because you took away my upgrades. Very poor timing to introduce this type of enemy. And they just do a lot of damage! <laughs> the fuck are you supposed to do? <laughs> this doesn't seem like a well thought out thing. It would be one thing if this was like early on, maybe. Or if I had my upgrades, but I don't have my upgrades. And I'm used to having my upgrades. So now I'm fighting enemies in an annoying way. Not happy. Especially because they just do so much fucking damage and have combos. And they dodge everything. Why? Are the... What is this? Another force loss battle? Except they're... Why are you shooting the fucking wall, you idiot? Game, why? Is this what the... Grenades for four. Also, it would be nice if I could dodge through enemies. Ever so slightly in this isometrical game. But yeah, it just seems oddly difficult for no reason. They're, they dodge and, uh, and do lots of damage. And where's my upgrades, asshole? That's my idea of fun. Pain. So yeah, the only way to beat them is to spam grenades. My favorite. That could be one thing if it was just like one thing, but no. It's a whole thing. To which I question why. Oh boy. Well, I guess I might as well do this. Before I explore... I wanted to explore! This game is annoying me now. The game is hitting... Okay, good. Okay, good. What? Question. Why did they put the big bars there? If they were just going to go away anyway. I'm being- I'm very confused by the design of this area. <laughs> oh, and the- the ghost is gone. Oh boy.
Was it because I used up its ghost energy, or...? Yeah, this segment is kind of losing me ever so slightly. Then again, it, it somehow did the diddly D of, oh, and now you lose all of your stuff. Which usually happens at the beginning of a game to be like, aha, you have a taste of power. This just feels wonkle, wonkily and weird. And then they just decided, here are two super mini-boss enemies that are super annoying to fight. My favorite. See ya, suckers. It just, it feels so weird. It feels weird. The design. But then it also shows that there is a thing. Let me head up. It would be nice if those didn't inhibit my movement so much. Why are they just annoying? Why is everything in this area just annoying? That's my question so far. Why must you make annoying? Another thing that's kind of annoying is we're going to not telegraph anything, even on this map. So now I'm just like... Is it an isometric secret? Is like is the game expecting me to go down and then I'll loop back around up and out through a secret door? Like what is number seven? Why is it in runes? We're going to be obtuse because it is artistic. No, it's annoying as fuck. At this point, just don't have a language. I wish. Because it's just like, again, maybe there's some kind of translation, but I haven't fucking found it. Also, I don't know. It's like, nine's up there, but ten's there. It's like everything feels wonky and weird. Wish that I could read the runes. Wish that it would have become English by now or something. I don't even understand the map, really. Because it's on a 2D plane, as if we're a side-scroller. But then there's, like, no way for me to really know anything about it, how it works or anything. It feels weird. I just, I don't get... I... Will you fuck off, game? Though I suppose there has to be a... That little path has to be an actual thing because there is little uh, lever boxes to bring the elevator up and down. Hey, a different perspective this time. I don't know if there's really anything I want to buy. Maybe the golden coins. Like, maybe I could have used the lure, but again, the game, like, doesn't tell you anything about the items, so it feels weird. Because you don't want to use the items, especially at the lure. The lure is relatively rare. I haven't found that many of them. Oh boy, it's an arena of doom. So we're going to fight basically every enemy in the game, I guess. Can I have a potion? Okay, I thought I thought it was gonna be a trick. So I messed up my arena run already. Okay, fine. Don't want me to actually stick around. I thought it was gonna be a trick, but understood now.
I missed my upgrades. Be gone, Satan. I had my shield up. Alright, I'm getting annoyed by the mechanics of this. Oh yeah, they're just gonna be able to spawn infinitely. Be gone. Alright. You shouldn't be too bad. Now they just decide to be assholes for that one. Spawn them all! Why actually have good game design? Yeah, that just feels weird. You don't fight them in that volume ever, anywhere, in the entire game. Then the game is just like, oh yeah, we're going to basically break all the conventions. Did they just have somebody else design this entire section? That's what it feels like. <laughs> it honestly feels like that somebody who was not a part of the main rest of the team was the one who designed this entire ghost section. Because this just does not feel like the rest of the game at all. And again, it just feels so weird to go through because I don't have any of my upgrades. I don't even know the real point of like, maybe that's a side thing where the more you upgrade, the more it empowers the... Like, the air that we freed and then killed us. Why does it just constantly spawn them? This is not good game design. This just does not feel like fun design. Oh yeah, you have to play the specific way or else you're fucked. It's like Kirby, the true arena, if it was bad. <laughs> because again, this does not align with the rest of the game's design. It doesn't feel like it. You don't run into that many other enemies. You don't fight them that way. All right, with this one. Uh, no, 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 we're gonna change to the frost grenade. Now we get to fight my least favorite enemies of this game. Jesus fucking Christ, why? And again, the game is like, lock onto the target. Did it heal? Game. Again, this feels so fucking wonky game. I am annoyed by this design so much. 
At least, for some reason, this section is just like, oh yeah. The, the enemies spawn in, like, set groups now. Or that was it. I thought it was going to actually spawn, like, a specific type. It... I don't know. It just feels so... This feels so weird. I thought it was going to be more like the... other ones, which felt like they spawned the whole gamut of the enemies. That one's just like, oh yeah, like one melee guy, maybe. The rest are all sorcerers. This is just so weird. So weird feeling compared to the rest of the game. Oh, I am already hating this. I hate enemies that are just like, I'm gonna run away. Err. I am very frustrated by this design. Fuck off, will you? Why are you out? Why? Why are you like this? Fuck off. I do not enjoy your design. I do not enjoy their design at all. And now that's just gonna give me one pot and a bunch of health drops to fight a frickin' boss. Oh no, it, gi it gave me them all. Okay. That's kinder than I expected. But yeah, this just feels so weird. So weirdly designed. All right. Uh, oh, another one. Game, please. He's like, again, I miss my... Up I miss... Uh, uh, fuck off, game. <laughs> game! That's unfair. G I hate this. I honestly do not like this section. Oh boy, I can't wait to make no progress every time I fail. Genuinely, this is bad. It's just not fun. It's not fun to do. Cause it's just repetitive. It's fake difficulty, if you ask me. This is something that should be side content. An arena mode that you opt into. Not the actual, you have to do this to progress. Cause it just, it feels weird. It feels off. Again, feels like it was made by somebody who wasn't a part of the normal team. It just feels so weird, and I don't want to do it again and again and again. Especially because, hey, nice of you to be like, oh yeah, fight this boss twice in a row. Nice of you to throw an enemy that takes four hits in a three-hit combo game. Fuck off. I do not like this. This isn't interesting. This isn't fun. It's just spam. Spam enemies hit the player. That's game design, apparently. I am bored of this. I am bored of this. This is boring. I do not... And again, I can't even change my items on the fly because... Pretty her, we're like Dark Souls. Aren't we so interesting? 
we're in Dark Souls. Dark Souls is being cryptic for no reason. Dark Souls is just throwing enemies at the player. This just doesn't feel interesting. It's just annoying. That's all it is. And it's just why? Why, 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 why? Nothing else in the game is like this. You took away my upgrades. And this is just a slow plodding side content. That's what this feels like. It just feels bothersome to deal with. What, what, why, game? So when they sometimes, <laughs> so basically if they spawn in and they spawn in facing you, they are ready to block. But if they spawn in behind you, they're not. It just... This just feels clunky. A part of me feel like... It honestly feels like... They were running out of content or something? And they're like, oh no. We have run out of content. Recycle things. But obviously not because... The game was building to this kind of betrayal, and again, let me, I wish I could run while locked on. <laughs> I do not enjoy this. Why are you running around like a jerk? leg I just uh, this section is bothersome it would be interesting if it was like more in depth and interesting enemy combos in like a line of rooms and then every time you clear a room the room is cleared for good therefore it actually feels like you're making progress but here it's just like oh no you don't get to have progress progress why would you want progress here have a boss you fought like five hours ago. I was behind... I was behind that game. Once again. Fuck this. <laughs> fuck this so hard. Fuck this. <laughs> Why? Why did they just decide, and now we're going to do something stupid? Completely tank the fun of the game. Because you have to do it in one run, which is stupid. Fuck it. I miss my upgrades, game. Could you give me back my upgrades so that this would be a fair playing field? What? Your design sucks too much to do that. Wow. Who would have thought? I mean, spammy ass bullshit. That's game design. I genuinely do not enjoy this. Let me guess, a third one? Or is that it? Well, now I can't do the fairies because I'm out of fucking magic. Genuinely, fuck this design. I do not like it. I do not like it at all. Perpetual this face. It's just... It's not interesting. One, one's like... Why did... 
I didn't roll backwards. And then the game is like, oh yeah, you rolled backwards. Fuck this entire fucking thing. Fine, we're gonna do the stupid cheese strat of waiting for them all to spawn in and then chuck grenades at them. Because why actually play the game? This isn't fun or interesting. This is lazy. Genuinely lazy, in my opinion. It's just, it's not interesting. Why are you so fucking fast, asshole? Again, it's like, it's just like the birds. They're like, er, we're gonna fly at you. And then you get one hit and then we're gonna fly at you. It just feels like boring. You have to play boring. Don't bother playing the game. Play boring type game. It's just not interesting. It's just not interesting. And again, I don't have any magic, so the fairies are gonna kill me. Because you know, that's fun game design. Like, literally, if they just didn't invalidate the rest of the game for this segment, and <laughs> just like, give me my f fuck off, you cunt. <laughs> I am very infuriated by this section. The game mechanics do not gel well with having fun in this section. This is not fun to deal with. Why do they even throw so many hearts at you? I don't have my fucking upgrades. Like, that is literally more health than you have in this entire section. And again, I'm gonna get to the fairies, and the fairies are gonna kill me because they all spawn at once and do nothing but spam projectiles at you. So it's like, it's not gonna be fun. I'm gonna lose again. And then I'm gonna have, like, no grenades to deal with anything in the future. Why is this designed like this? At least I found a good way of dealing with you. But yeah, it, this section just feels very off. I would only be like mildly annoyed at like the cathedral with the clone use that are like, hee hee hee. We're gonna be kind of annoying. But then you have, like, the entirety of it. Well, maybe, maybe use a lure. Maybe I'll use the lure on the fairies, see if that buys me time to get gather magic. That, it, I hate this game sometimes. I don't I don't enjoy this section at all. Cause it just feels very spammy. Enemy design is good for the enemy design of this game is good for small, compact areas of enemies. Not this deluge that they throw at you at the eleventh hour. Also, note that they have the statue be all the way here. Okay. Thank you, Lur. No, 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 no! That one was mostly my fault, I guess, but... Fucking seriously? I don't like this section. This literally is making me not want to play the game. What is the purpose of this section? 
Just to be assholes. Once again, this feels like they just handed the design documents to an intern. And we're like, we don't feel like designing anything. Here you go. And then that intern was a cunt. I just, I hate the section so fucking much. We'll do the two most annoying ones back to back, I guess. But it's just like, this is not fun to me. Why does this do so much damage? Yeah, I'm just severely done with this d part of the game. I am just severely done with this part of the game. Why did they survive multiple? Luckily they have friendly fire, but they fire so quickly. And the magic disappears. Uh, okay, the two most annoying ones are down, I guess. But I am just so severely done with this segment of the game because this literally feels like it should be side content, a side mode. Because, like, again, just have, like, maybe harder sections, but they're confined to rooms, and if you beat that section, it's just over and done with. Why is it, oh, we're going to throw a gauntlet battle at the player, you know, after we've stolen away all of their shit. And I, again, I hate that the game doesn't let me roll out of attacks. I get it, it's not the design of the game, but fuck off, it feels so bad. Die. I'm just so fucking done. I'm just not feeling this section at all. This isn't a boss fight. This is literally just boring bullshit. I just do not feel like dealing with it. Now we're gonna do the stupid cheese strat. Wait for them all to spawn and throw grenades at them to thin them out quickly. And then... Hackety smack them slowly while playing the boring way. But I just do not understand why the... Why does the game have delayed throwing? Oh, but not that time, I guess. It's like, the small itty-bitty, like, originally things that were just nitpicks really come to light during this section, I'd say. This section just doesn't feel fun to me. We're gonna play it safe and get all my healing back. We shouldn't have too much problems because the toads are relatively easy now that I figured out how to deal with their sword and spear guys. Which, considering that, let's deal with you first. At least they didn't go all out and throw the heavy guys that were a part of this faction, but Magic Spammy Epilepsy Machine is still not a nice thing to throw at the player. True to love not being able to kill enemies in one combo because they took away all my upgrades. 
and then said, hey, fight a bunch of enemies in a row without dying. I would say that is... That is... I'm gonna say it. That is literally bad design. Because previously, maybe I was just running high on emotions, but it really does feel like this section is badly designed. Literally the most combat-heavy section of the game, and it is after you've taken away the player's upgrades? Are you afraid that you're un incapable of balancing for the upgrades you put in the game? Then don't add upgrades. If you are afraid that you're not going to be able to account for upgrades in the design of your end game, don't put upgrades in your game. Or change the end game. Don't half ass it. And do a weird thing like this. Where we have to take away the player's upgrades, but not their items, which makes no sense. Yeah, literally the fact that we became a ghost, but we still have our inventory. And let me guess, there's going to be a, a mysterious last thing. Oh, is it chest? What is it going to be? My upgrade's back? You feel a tingling. Oh, I have the halo thingy. Oh. My dodge is much better. Oh, now we can dodge over things. Yes. I knew we were going to get something like this. I thought it was going to be water walking. But I guess I can go off of being annoyed. But yeah, that section, not fun. Quite literally, I say it again, just have it be rooms that you can clear naturally. There is literally no reason why it had to be a gauntlet fight, especially when the game kind of just decided, hey, <laughs> we're going to throw you into the most combat-heavy section, but take away all of your upgrades. It just feels very meh to me. And it really taints the game. Because I was mildly annoyed at like... And now I'm going to have to remember where all these are, which is also going to be very annoying. But yeah, just the entire idea that like, hey, we're going to throw combat heavy encounters at the player. While they don't have their upgrades. Brilliant. Hire them, I guess. But this does open up a large part of the game, I would say, but it is still very annoying, and I am not happy with that cathedral section. Oh, that does make sense. But let's see. Continue. <laughs> Data management. Funny. You're a funny person. The kind of elevation and not elevation bit is a little weird. Ever so slightly. Remembering where certain pieces of things are is going to be very weird. Cathedral. Incredible treasure. Heroes laurels. I already got them. Once again, really wish that the game would have activated the English mode by now. Actually, that would be an interesting New Game Plus. Or maybe just like... Maybe not even New Game Plus, just hey. You've earned this now. 
So if you do the whole thing, you get like super. Let me see. Uh, or maybe it's just guarded now. I do not know. What do you say? Holy cross? I do not know. But now we need to remember where all the... Wrong button. Where all the... They are. But I guess the game does tell you, because if you just need to pay attention to... Oh, candles. Which I thought, like, were related to these guys, because candles, but no. Candles are just the signifier of... Where the heroes' graves are. Doesn't seem like there's a hero's grave in the frog's domain. There is a hero's grave in the monastery. Oh, this is the... Okay. Completely missed that. But there's other things in the cathedral. So we might have to go back to the cathedral at some point because... Hmm. Maybe the teleporting will help. But yeah. The cathedral, in my opinion, has been the worst part of the game. Just straight up. It wasn't interesting. It wasn't all that fun. It's just randomly... Oh, yeah. We're just gonna make the game a bit worse today. A terrible power rises. The world is thrown into ruin. So... The air uses these cups. Seems to have in like enslaved the others of its kind, and then the lesser foxes seem to follow on. Then there was a war using the technology. A prison and a beacon. The air, air to the air, Holy Cross, was sealed away, awaiting a worthy successor, the Golden Path. Well, speaking of Golden Path... That thing, that, uh, that has appeared a few other times, like over here, this Golden Path that leads off. I still don't know what it is. Maybe it's tied to the golden path, but I don't know. I'm just happy I can teleport now. But I can't go down there, which is kind of bullshit. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can... I'm not, It's nice that you can still use it. I'm happy that I can still use it, even if I used up all the magic. Gardens. Really would be nice if I could actually go places. Well, I guess I could... Oh, that's uh, the thing I can do. I can use the teleportations to get to the garden again. Or I could just follow this path. That's clearly a way I could go. Game. 
Oh boy, an enemy I'm gonna have to fight, my favorite. Where are we? Should be... Yeah, we're over here. So, much joy. You annoy me. You annoy me immensely. Hmm, but how do I get over there? Where that other... Do I just teleport down? Oh no, I need to actually follow a path to get there. So now when there are enemies, they're just going to be insufferable, aren't they? I don't even see how teleporting would have helped. Maybe things will be set right a bit and we'll be able to maneuver a bit more. Once we, like, become un a ghost. Once no longer a ghost, perhaps we can more naturally explore the world and get that piece, because I have no idea how we're supposed to get. Or maybe. What? Oh, yeah, because I rested. I'm not happy with this design decision at all. I, this is me saying, I don't want to deal with you. Fuck off. So I'm going to assume maybe if we, yeah, if we teleport there, we can get this. So yeah, that's just something to worry about later. Teleporting is a little wonky. Gotta say. If I put on the gas mask. Well, that's another thing. I've been having that the entire time. If I put it on, does the miasma affect me? It does. Which I say is a bit shenanigans. Ever so slight shenanigans, if you ask me. I need to fix my loadout. Don't want to deal with you. Don't want to deal with you. Purpose of this? I don't get it. How does the teleport function? <laughs> I hate the teleport, actually, ever so slightly. Because it feel You were not aiming that way. Stupid ass AI that gets to track. Dead. You must be a fun at parties. So while the teleportation does like open up things ever so slightly, it also just kind of makes things harder. Like it feels like I could be able to teleport there and get on top, but. Apparently not, which then makes, like, why does this even exist? Why remove the entirety of everything that we've learned to traverse? Oh, well, you have teleportation now. 
Yeah, and you're not doing a good job of explaining it to us. Absolutely annoying. Oh, hey. Wrong button. Maybe I'll get a fourth. Ah, I did. Don't know what to put down, though. Because there's speed quieter so enemies don't recognize me I don't know I think that's le like more damage or like there is something once again it's very nice of you game to have all of these things and then you explain none of them I get it that's part of the mystique but it's still a kind of bad design decision this deep into the game <laughs> It just, it gets to a certain point that it literally becomes kind of a bad design decision when you have so much. Just so much. That's defense, I think, so I'll, it's nice to get defense. I still need to remember where the other diddly dees are. It just, this entire section just feels off. Despite the fact this is what the game's been building to, ostensibly. And there is kind of some kind of... There is definitely a, ooh, it's kind of cool to be earning back my stats. At the same time, I've been building these stats. And it would have also been nice to not have my stats stolen in the first place. It would also be nice if I could actually breed a lot of the things that exist in the game. But not like my aesthetic. And it just slowly, but I slipped again. How does that happen? But also, at least that also explains why I was dying so easily earlier. I had no defense. So no wonder everything was just annihilating me. Kindly go away. Okay, now I just need to... Back off. Want to explore this area more? Yeah, I was gonna say explode already, dear sir. Like, okay, yeah, I keep forgetting that we can get that later when we actually get back to our teleporting. could have also maybe teleported over there. Wait, no? No, we actually came from that way before, so it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, I forgot. I took that diddly d off. But now... Right. That area should be done done. Next, maybe we should head to that place up behind the dark tomb. How are you feeling, dude? Again, just really wish I could r actually read these things. 
What's the purpose of all this dialogue if I can't even read it? Again, there's probably a translation. But so far, it just feels like... Hiddly he, I created my own language. And it's just like, yeah, congratulations. It is literally meaningless, however. And this is the dark well, or is it? No. Brain going all over the place. Yeah, I want to see if we can get behind the... If there's anything in the dark cave now. But yeah, it, it just feels like this part of the game... The, Kind of, it just feels like it kind of kills the pacing, I would say. All right, but the next one that we know where it is and is relatively close is this away. I also think. Oh, hey. Uh, but it is far away. I'm not even sure if it'd be worth it to get it. Oh, it's broken off, but that's where one of the things is. Damn you. Bleg. Uh, a jar shard. This late in the game. Interesting. Let's see. Nope, no teleporting that way. This would lead me pretty much back to the monastery. But I want to check this. What is your deal? I guess let's try the mountain path. And if the mountain path fails, we'll just go about the various teleportations we can do. It's kind of rude that I, as a ghost, need to... actually walk the path of people. Unlike those other ghosts that were trying to kill me, they got to float. Luckily, I can teleport, so it's not terrible. Never mind, I can't get up there. But I can get here. Uh, and then there's you. Which is a bit worrisome might implies that the monastery is uh, full of bats. Hmm, I for I know standing in the miasma was bad, but nope, uh, this works. At the very least, this works. Aha. Uh -huh. It's actually shoving me away. But one of the things is in there. Fairly certain to... Oh, good. All right. Soul of the Damned, who takes, like, no damage. Very nice. So, will you bugger off? I can't... It, also, my rolling is forever changed. Oh, good. 
Yay, more just bad design. I hate this. <laughs> I hate it. The entire su second part of the game is, lol, we're gonna take away all of your stats and you have to get them back. I hate it. I hate this. Just give me my fucking stats, you assholes. If you're gonna spend the entire game being like, build up your power, and then you go build up your power, and then the game says, fuck you, do it again, it's not a very fun time. I do, like, no damage. This isn't fun to do. But it's just like, obviously, if I beat it, I'll get my shit back. And, like, I do not feel like the game is going to go out of its way to make things fun again after the cathedral. So it's just like, this final third is really taking a dump on all my fun, and I hate it. I do not enjoy this. Uh, I hate you. This isn't fun. I'm just gonna keep saying it. This isn't fun. Here, I get to do super dash and take away all your health. Like, you have to play this weird way now. I don't have any damage. It's just like everything feels so weird now. It's like it's a completely different game all of a sudden. So weird. Just feels so weird. Just feels so weird. Just completely and utterly. They just completely shift how the entire game plays in the last bit. And it doesn't feel smooth because it's still based off of the same core game principles, but it functions nearly completely differently. Is that health? Uh, no, I think that just might be potion efficacy. Yeah. I just want my health back. <laughs> Granted, the enemies are probably going to continue to be like, ooh, we're going to drain your max health anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's just like everything just feels so wonky and weird. Why did they just go out of their way to change it at the final bit for no reason? It just feels wonky and weird and just does not gel. The teleporting is weird, the combat is even weirder now. Because whereas before it was mostly light rolls with mostly focusing on shielding, I suppose, which I fail to do most of the time. Because let's see, nothing else here worth anything, so... Don't know where else to go except for more teleporting. Off to teleport town then. It just, it just feels so weird. All they had to do was... Because that's one thing that I think is kind of a failure of this is... Because they had to change it up so much... It's like, it, it doesn't feel satisfying overall. The uh, teleporting is fine enough. It feels interesting, but the problem is it changes the entire flow of combat. 
And considering that we've spent the entire game getting used to the flow of combat, and you've been building on that flow of combat, to then change to this, just it kind of feels like a failure of game design to me. Because it just feels like, oh, everything that you were like striving for, toward, and doing is now meaningless. Here's a different thing. Biggity bop. But also I just realized what the plus one is when it comes to the grenades and stuff. Basically, you get that upon respawn now. Which is, a, it's a good thing that I never really complained about, err, the game's design means that I am lo- Like, especially during the section where I was very annoyed by the gauntlet of death, I was partially tempted to complain about how that meant that every time I tried to beat the gauntlet, I was using my grenades and stuff, my dynamite, and that meant that every time I tried to do anything, I would fail and die and lose my grenades, but no, because I use them, apparently, I get them. Upon respawn, which is an interesting mechanic, and, well, it would be really nice if they actually told you that. <laughs> Hmm, so certain ones are, like, locked off entirely. Let's go towards this. Teleport guide. So, let, so let's see. The quarry is completely cut off. And the ruined atoll is cut off. I guess it kind of makes sense. It didn't seem like there was much to do in the ruined atoll. What's the left one? The West Garden. There is a page I want, and I'm going to get it. But yeah, it just... It's a very odd design decision to just be like, we're going to change the core of the game. I didn't look at that, but now I know how to open those doors. Down, right, up, left, up, right. Something or seeking an end. Share your wisdom. Use the power of the Holy Cross and traverse the golden path. The fair. Hey, there's a... The shading makes that fox seem different. Seeking spell. But okie doke. Now we have to... Now we know how to open up the way, I guess. Which, uh, if you know it, you can do it from the beginning. I ho I kind of hope that there's a new game plus. Well, I'm going to try it. On the earliest one. And then we'll probably end it there because... Various reasons. Oh yeah, and there's also this one. So there's two in this overworld area. But it kind of is trying my patience ever so slightly. What do you have to say? Holy Cross. Alright, down, right, up. Alright. Down, right, up, 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 up. Hidden secrets. Oh, you can even do it to that one? Just that symbol. Or standing on the golden path. All right. So is that saying that if we just stand on the golden path? Down, right, up. Okay, yeah. So is that just saying that doing it on a golden path will open the way? Down, left. Because that seems to be a golden path, too.
Let's see. And then there's also down here. Is that a golden path? Is that a golden path? And if we do the input there? All right, we're gonna try the golden path thingy over here. Then there, just for giggles, I guess. But then again, I think the bibbity bop is gone, so it probably gonna help us. But yeah. Once again, just really wish I could actually understand what they're saying. It's like overall, it, it, it's interesting, but it just feels weird. All right. Just gotta get it right. Down. Oh, yeah. Hmm, that's one of the cards, but that one had like warning to it, I think. Wrong button. Oh, wait, no, the right button. Because, question mark, question mark, question mark. Well, I, well, I don't have much use for any of these. I don't want it. Ah, it drains health, but probably gives superpower. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe if we also put on Aura's Gym. Like, I don't know. Don, these secrets are crazy. It even restored my health. Whoa. Maybe that's the tech. You equip it, and then immediately unequip it. A. Take your rightful place. Clearing the game or seeking an end. A. Take your rightful place. Share your wis wisdom. B. Use the power of the Holy Cross and traverse the Golden Path. This entire thing is funky as all hell. I don't even think I'll be able to get to the ruined toll. Anymore. Let's see if we can stand on the golden path here. Nope. Whoop whoop. I steal your treasure. It's another effigy. So yeah. Ruined Atoll is annihilated. But there's also that, and we can teleport now. So we're also going to check that out. Because I thought it was going to be like an actual dungeon in there. With one of these golden path dealies. Do I have a golden? No, I don't have a golden. Golden coin. Now I'm going to, like, try that input everywhere. Because, let me just see again. It's down, right, up, left, up, right. Down, right, up. Yep. Let's do it in front of the merchant man. He'll probably become a secret boss battle and kick our ass. Seek the golden path. He does not care about my golden path. I shall buy a golden coin. Because why not? 
I have nothing else to really buy or care about. And now we're going to head down. Yeah, you can't go that way. That, place, that, that way is probably filled to the brim with doom and death. Instead, she'll go this way so we can golden path our way in. Teleport spam. Teleport spam. I don't have... Nope, nothing to offer. Not like it would really help, because you hate me. You want me to die, because... I don't even know. You're evil. You're evil! Evil! I just need to remember which way is what. You guys are just annoying. I would like to go through the goddamn door. I am immensely annoyed. Leave me alone. What, what, what my game? Why is it just, oh yeah, you're gonna slip now. Fuck off. If I cannot intentionally teleport whichever which way I want and go to where I want, you are not going to stand there and be like, we're gonna make you fall wherever we want. You don't get to do both, game. Also annoying that teleport does not go through small walls, but I understand why not. Ah, we don't want people to do six strats because we can't design an overworld. Even though it would kind of get in the way of combat ever so slightly. Open sesame. Oh, just treasure chest. What? What? Why would... Oh, uh... uh what? I'm confused. Why? Why would they give me a second sword? Why would they give me a second sword? For what purpose, Billy? For what purpose would they give me a second sword and literally have the dippity da say already have one okay i understand that one because like oh they don't want to lock off a chest from being gotten but still that's so weird so very odd maybe if i do the dar the diddly da there in front of the fire? The ruined atoll can't be gotten to. Alright, there are like a million things I want to try now. Because I think the hero's grave like also had maybe like something similar to that pattern? Not exactly. It kind of felt like it, and I did the golden path gesture, but it didn't work. And here the game says, come no further, you already have a sword. I'm just trying to remember, like, where other kind of doors are. 
And I'm also gonna have to go to, uh, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, also wanted to do the teleport thingy for the thing up here, I think. No, wrong way, it's up here. So we can teleport over into the mouth. Of whatever this is. Door to the mountains. Fairies 22. Hence helps and clues. Something about the crabs in the ruined atoll. None of this helps. The hero's grave, door in the mountains, fairies. Surrounding the little fire speck thingy. Holy cross is the door. And then bed is a little ways away. And then a down a hidden path is that chalice. And that's kind of telling me where the various things are. Because that's the defense was in the west. Potion was in the diddly D Next to the door in the mountains. HP is in the goddamn forest. Attack is somewhere else. Stamina I already got. But... I don't know that. Also, funny Xbox controller. Even has the logo. But yeah, I have no idea how to get here. Maybe on page 30? No. I can't go down the well and the way into the... Well, maybe I could fight another thingy thing to get into the darkness. But... That's it to offer, my man? He didn't care that I did the Golden Cross, so... Alright, so that's basically kind of a cheat sheet. Yeah, it's very interesting, but it, it just kind of feels disruptive to a degree. It's like I've come all this way to do all this stuff, and then the game is like, haha, fuck you. Again, it is interesting to go about regaining the stats, but the fact that you build, spend your time through the game building the stats only to lose them just feels kind of mucky. Um, I'm doing the thing. Down right up. Da, da, da. It apparently doesn't care. Uh huh. That's ever so slightly frustrating because it is explicitly shown. Uh -huh. It's explicitly shown. It has the. Wait. No, no, button. Because let's see. If we follow it. Doo -doo. 
do 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 nope higgledy piggledy here follow the golden path what if you let me That's the only wood that has been left to stay. Don't even know why. No other wood has survived. Wait, can I escape through that? Free me! Maybe... Do not know. It feels like I'm. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. Game is being mean. Maybe if I do the golden path in here, let me in. Triple checking. I am doing it right. would have been funny if there was a secret of doing the cross thing there. But, nope. Says fairies. Fairies. Do I have anything? Because, let's see. Take your rightful place. Share your wisdom. Use the power of the Holy Cross and traverse the Golden Path. I don't have the Holy Cross. Holy Cross is in a golden chest. Seeking spell. Yeah, let's see. This explicitly shows, yeah, the door in front why is there a golden chest there? Where the manual piece was is... No. They wouldn't. They wouldn't be that devious, would they? I wonder what happens if I do the... Ah, I messed it up. Okay. Just to make sure. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. Nope. Just felt like I was messing up. And who knows, maybe I was. But... It said... It showed the golden... A uh, golden chest here. Nope. It shows a golden chest there. I'm not going crazy. Hmm. And then... <laughs> Here's like, hey, use the, the PC thing too. And then like, butterflies are apparently bird. Or the... Ba -ba -da -ba. And then here's the down... Right, up, left, up, right. Because that's following the golden path. Follow the right one. Does that mean that that one would be up, right, down, left, down, right, up, left? Because I think I did that there. Fairly certain. Uh, 
All right, but let's take a look at the map. We'll probably have to take a look in the cathedral again. I think because we didn't find that section. That section from 6 to 7 and 8. We didn't find any of that. We had to deal with that bullshit. Legend says wearing this allows you to do something extraordinary. That's the laurel. And then we left. Just bleg. Bleg, bleg, I say. Librarian. Maybe the librarian stole the Holy Cross. And we can't go to the ruined at all, but we can probably go back to the library. And I... Nope, we don't have a... Magic coin anymore. And then presumably we can go to fight the air at any time. I'm choosing not to. Let's go to the library. Maybe do the golden path on his head. Nope. Oh, wait. The air defeat Holy Cross. So I did kill him. Poor dude. Are those just magical rotating gems? Let's explore the library a bit, I guess. Though, from the looks of things, getting out will be hard. Never mind, we just can't go over there. To the left side. So some of this place is corrupted. And we didn't rest at the place. We need to rest at the place before we go down there, because that night thing that I was scared of when we first entered the library will probably come to life and eat me. Because I still do not have my attack up or health up. Which again will forever be my gripe at this game. Wait, those two chests, have they always been here? Probably not. And you know, at least one thing stands. You know, most of the time, people will be like, why didn't they just talk to each other? And that just creates the entire problem of the plot. In this case, we don't, we can't read the runes. So the librarian w wouldn't be able to say, stop, foolish hero. You are creating doom and bad. You moved. Why do I keep tripping? Tripping is annoying. Game. There's a reason Brawl was never played. I hate that it ate my roll. So yeah, it's... The teleporting is very interesting, but it, it just changes the combat so much, and probably allows them a bit of freedom to be like, aha, shenanigans. Get to the way I came in. But 
maybe if I destroy them both, something will happen? I don't know. I hate that they auto-correct mid-swing. Because you know, that's how physics walk. I hate you. How dare you. Shields are nothing towards guns. I hate the autocorrect mid swing mechanic for these guys. And it keeps. And yeah! I was pressing A so much to like dodge, dodge, and then the game is just like, no. I hate the weird restriction on dodging and attacking. Again, I understand it's there for balancing reasons so that you don't just like, ooh, I'm going to dodge out of my swing, but... Eh, meh, meh, eh, meh, meh. And of course they leave health and attack to be the last ones you can possibly get, apparently. Or at least they're the hardest ones to figure out how to get to. Which feels a bit shenanigans, if you ask me. Ever so slightly shenanigans. Oh, you know. The best things in the game. You can't have that. You know those things that are like the first ones you upgraded in the game? No, you don't get to have them. It is very interesting to like revisit and kind of re-explore past areas. But ever so slightly not like this. Not in this way. Where it's like, hey, re-explore the world with new rules so that you can build yourself up to where you were before. I do understand it to a degree because even in the spirit world, when you were just traversing between them before everything happened, you still were, like, missing out on your capabilities. But man, oh man. I forgot that I could come here. Oh, the siege engine. That was the siege engine. Okay, but I'm going to get my attack back. Thank you very much. At least I think it's my attack. Let's see. Giggity guide, giggity guide. Let's see, somewhere that says. Where all of my upgrades went. Nope, that's not my attack, it's my health, which honestly. ain't bad. The hero's grave. Ah, uh, more of you, and I don't have a lot of attack. I'm just gonna cheat you. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Thank you. I cheated that section, and I don't feel sorry. I have my health back. Thank fuck. But then we can also go into the super spider lair since we're here. But first thing first, it's getting dark and I'm going to turn on a light. Wow, 
Well, let's see with the spider layer. Let me guess. Potentially. I got a broom. I don't know where it is. I... Is this a joke? I'm going to quickly enter. What is the Dusty Achievement? Found Secret Treasure 11. It is a joke. It is meaningless. Nice to know, Clary. But is there anywhere else I even slightly care about? This place to the Siege Engine? I don't think so. I don't want to deal with you. At least I have my primary stats back, but not my... Very interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting, but very, very weird. And ever so slightly kinda, sorta unsatisfying. And now I'm trying to remember that one cavern that I went into that had that single patrolling knight that just like yeah was on a checkerboard doing the thing again and again and again hmm butterflies And the remains of the war machine are just gone. The siege engine. Then again, not really that good of a siege engine. If all it was was standing here. Doing nothing. But okay, dog. Now I don't know where the last... Dippity die is. Because that leads to the air again. Maybe if I do the golden path up here. Nope. available is like this doesn't even go anywhere this just goes to a little bit of the west garden that isn't even all that important and again what was with that one that's like hey you found a second sword what what was with that what is with everything of this madness this is madness 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 I 
I need to be careful not to click on death. So we, yeah, we've exhausted. Um, unless. I just saw that and figured, oh, I can teleport now. Now, where are we? Oh, yeah, this part. Neat. Looks like I'm getting it back anyway. Gotta quickly go in here, because why not? And eh, probably why not, because it's just a guardhouse, and I think it just looped around a bit. Yeah, this leads to the bell. Why you have a gun? Oh, you looked different, my dude. Did... Very bothersome, if you ask me. Oh, fuck off. Sincerely. Double sincerely. Well, it led me to a chest I completely missed last time I was here. It was just another effigy. I wonder if anybody actually spent the time to translate anything, because if you know that's called effigy, and then you're like, I'm gonna use that as like a basis, and this letter means E, and stuff like that, and like, that'd be interesting. But... I wonder if that's also like the exact wording, if it actually is path to the hero's grave in the runes or what. So now I get my damage back. But now I need to just figure out how to walk the golden path. Your body is restored. Neat. Does that mean that I can... D -d 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 golden path magic open up the obelisk? Because... It says something weird on the hints page. Where is the hints page? The hints page has weirdness. Wait, bed? I only remember one bed. All right, we're gonna try one more thing before we end and <coughs> then probably lament at a small, well, at the same time, if we just finish off tunic next time we can j then just transfer over to playing digimon also just a a little bit of weirdness i've noted we only fought the fox ghost spirit once like the demon ooh i controlled my asthma we only fought him once. Bed. And all the things are here. I think even the broom is here. This is literally meant to be my room. It didn't, like, restore my health and stuff, but...
down below. So there's just a ton of secret rooms that I have absolutely missed. All right. And then it's like Holy Cross up there, but... I do the Holy Cross sign and it's not activating. Maybe I need to do it while praying? Maybe I need to do it up here? Yeah, it is down right up. But no, it's not opening up. Do you mean you need the Holy Cross to open that up? But yeah, interesting that the there's like the secret hold room. Hmm. Yeah, ruined atoll. Crabs, apparently. Page 49. We'll check out page 49 in a moment, but fairies. Fairies what? I'm very confused. 22 on page 22. What? 22, 22. How is this a hint? Uh, if you can't read the runes, it's just like, it's weird. 22. 22. Door in the mountains. I mean, I figured that out, but I don't know what it means. I'm not sure if the diddly D on the wall is actually anything on the wall or what. Oh wait, everything is returned for this area? Why? I'm confused. And I can't see the ghosts anymore, I assume. I... am very confuzzled. Dearest game. My question is why? I am very confused. Uh, no, we're not, because uh, basically I don't trust it to not to be like, haha, psych. That piece is still missing. And now that we have the body back. Game. Why? I still think those things take one more hit than they used to. Even after all my upgrades. You know, I was kind of liking traversing the world as a ghost. I did the thing. But let's, like, try and follow it. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's another page. The final treasure. Okay, behind a waterfall, but what does that mean? 
in there, the secret gathering place. Input that, the seeking spell. Apparently in all of these places. Twenty-two on page twenty-two. I'm losing my mind. Again, just put it in English, you assholes. Because it's just like, yeah, a bunch of runes. Because now this is just like, oh, hey, 22 on page 22. What to do? I'm losing my mind with these secrets, all because they're like up their own ass. We're so smart, cryptic feeling. Ah, oh, yes, 22 on page 22. What does this mean? How do we say, hey, we found 22. It's in here. Like, I'm just losing my mind, because obviously that's page 22. And here we are in page 22. And the hint is like, ah, yes, find 22 on page 22. When the 22 we're looking for, technically, is all the way back here. But then at the same time, maybe it's like, no. I'm just losing my mind. We're going to do that input in the fairy place. I am in agony at these secrets. <coughs> I wonder if I can do it at this fire. Nope. Well, let's do it in here. All right, let's try it first. Normal. Didn't work. All right. Up, left. Up, right, down, right. Up, left. Up, right. Down, right. Up, right. Up, no. Up, left. Up, right. Down, right. Up, left, up, right, down, right. I put it in and something happened and I think I messed it up. Or maybe I accidentally did the seeking spell. I'm just kind of annoyed <laughs> right now. Because, like, Maybe that unlocked the Seeking spell, but now what does all this fucking mean? Do they actually expect you to translate the goddamn runes? Because, like, we did it. We inputted the thing and got the fairies to appear. So I'm going to assume... This is the fairy spring being illustrated. That's the waterfall in front of the fairy spring. Then this here is where we are, is the fairy spring. The final treasure is apparently tied to the diddly dee. It's just like nothing is making sense. It's all in runes, and the game is so far up, up, up its own ass about it. I did it again, but I'm not sure what it means. Maybe I need to do it while it's active? If 
but then it's just like <laughs> is it on a time limit why is it like I just it feels weird and wonky what does it mean something happens but then sometimes it doesn't happen Maybe if I pray, maybe if I do the Golden Cross. Game, what does it mean? Why is the Seeking Spell Fairies going that way? We'll do it one more time and we'll click the thing while the fairies are happening. I don't know, this game is just being weird. I don't like it. When games are, like, up their own ass about how smart they are. Or maybe I need to follow that path. Like, in while it's happening. I don't know why. I forgot to check the thing while doing it because it's like, it's just being cryptic for cryptic sake here. And unlike Dark Souls, where it's just lore here, it's like, lol, it's for the actual game, idiot. I... I want to look this up because it's so stupid. This doesn't do anything. At all. Can I do it outside? Like, I don't know. It's so just funky and weird. No, it doesn't seem like I can do it out here. Uh, I just hate this. It isn't interesting. It isn't fun. It's just cryptic hee hee ha ha. Aren't we so smart bullshitters? That's just what it feels like. And again, it just, it doesn't seem to happen all the time. Why? Why? Why, why, why? I don't know, maybe if we do the seeky sucky at the thing where the golden chest kind of appeared. It's just like, none of this makes sense. <laughs> none of this makes sense at all. Maybe down here, because it makes a noise. First, let's try the golden path. Nope. It's just... Why? Why? Why is it all just weirdness, and none of it makes sense? Also, real nice of you to be like, here's all these ghosts, and then all the ghosts are gone. What is the, the fairy spring? I am no longer finding this interesting. You have this whole fucking thing. Final treasure. Tied to the seeking spell. And it's just like, I don't know where the fucking anything is. Maybe it's tied to that one asshole who's just going around in a circle on a checkerboard, but I don't remember where the fuck that is because it's a hidden secret. And it's like, here's a checklist. But nothing is checked, so I don't know. And here's a fucking bingo card.
maybe it's like, oh, start on page 12. Okay, let's go to page 12. Page 12. We're on page 12. Where's the secret game? <laughs> it's like, I don't understand any of this at all. It's just, it's not a fun secret diddly da. It's just kind of annoying. Maybe do it in front of you, then maybe? I don't know. Again, it just feels like the game is being cryptic for cryptic sake, and it's not explaining anything. Because he he ho runes aren't we so clever we know how to make fake written language apparently we are very proud of it and now it's all just down to trial and error acting as if oh zelda one existed so we can do whatever it just doesn't feel interesting All right, first things first, do the golden cross, nothing happens. Up, left. Up, right, down, right. Oh, apparently it does work. Out of nowhere. So it is just leading me back to the diddly deep. It is just leading me back to the fairy cave, but nothing was happening in the fairy cave game! Nothing was happening, I do everything a million times. I don't even know what it is that you're looking for! Ooh. I am very angry. I am just enraged. Because nothing is being explained, and... I do want to just, like, learn and do it myself, but where do I fucking start? What do I fucking do? It's so cryptic that it's just, like, not really that fun to put together as a puzzle. First things first. Nope, doesn't like the Golden Cross. Yeah, I hate that the Seeking spell is so inconsistent. Wow, even the Seeking spell fairies didn't know what to fucking do there. Yeah, I think that's my least favorite part about this as well. We're gonna be cryptic, and then you need to do the Seeking spell like five million times for it to happen once. Ooh, my fucking favorite. We're gonna do it, like, a few more times. Maybe we need to, like, do the Seeking spell, stand precisely where the Seeking fairies tell me to fucking stand. And we'll just fucking see. Let me climb down the fucking ladder. I don't want to deal with your bullshit. Can I just become a ghost again? That would be nice. It would be nice not to have to deal with all of this bullshit. But it just, it feels so wonky and clunky. I just wish that I could do the seeking spell as many times as I want, as fast as I want. But game says, no, don't do that. Seeking spell bad, apparently. All right. Golden Cross input doesn't work here. Now we input the fairies again. What even is it? 
Or is that indicating the start point? Is that indicating the start point of that? So it would be like... Head up to the fountain. Then I head this way. Then up to this direction. This direction a little bit. And then forward. Like, I don't know. I'm grasping at straws here. Because the game isn't saying anything. And again, why is the seeking spell so inconsistent? Just have it happen. Just have it happen. You assholes. I'm, I am on the cusp of just looking it up because this is stupid. <laughs> this isn't solving a puzzle. This is, hmm. I sure can't wait to solve this jigsaw puzzle with one piece, even though the box advertised 10,000. And then it just says, draw your own. That's basically what it says. I don't understand any of this. Because it's like, page 12, there was nothing on page 12. Unless it's like, page 12. Well, let's see. No, because one, two, three, four, five. Whereas that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So going by that logic doesn't even work. <laughs> I just wish that it would be a bit more concise because again, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is meant to be. All I know is that, hey, there's that 22 and the stupid tips and shits is like, oh, 22 on page 22 while itself is on page 22. What the fuck does that mean, you asshole? What does it mean? What the fuck does it mean? It's just nothing makes sense. It's like, hey, 22 on page 22. So that, again, that probably means that this is related to page numbers. But in what way? In what way, what does it mean? Like, I don't, I just, nothing makes sense. Let's go to page two. Is page two interesting? We don't even have page two. So maybe it's like, bingo, find all the pieces, but I don't know where they are. And then there's just this fucking thing. Aha, I'm going to look it up. Because it just says, secret gathering place. The fairy spring, the secret gathering place for the Holy Cross. But it's just, it feels like it's just an obtuse bullshit. <laughs> Apparently on the Steam guide shop, there literally is like... <gasps> Tunic manual translation. Text from the in-game manual translated into English. It's just like, I'm not sure if I want to, like... Yeah, needless to say, bit huge spoilers below. If you haven't beaten the game or worked out its puzzle on your own yet, strongly recommend against it. But hey, the game's being an asshole. And, like, none of it is making much sense. Especially the secret gathering place. So it's just like, I would really, really like... Because, like, yeah. Ah! 
I don't... I don't know. I'm just... Very frustrated. Because... Why have, like, the fairy thingy, but then the fairies only lead to the secret gathering place? And it just is a very hurting. Like, I guess I kind of, kind of get it. This is like, hey, various places that hold secret gathering places, maybe, that if you do the thing, like, in the West Garden, and the West Garden... Oh, boy, there's two secret places in the West Garden, my favorite. I'm just... I'm just eternally losing my mind. Again, because the seeking thing doesn't work all the time. Which is just frustrating. If you're gonna put in bullshit, have it work every single time. Yeah, and it's just like, go out. What is your purpose? The seeking. I'm gonna look up what the fucking spe seeking spell even fucking does. Because it isn't doing anything. Tunic. Seeking spell. Just tell me. What is the trick? Lead you towards secret fairy puzzles. This conjures lights that will point vaguely in the direction of the nearest fairy puzzle, which you will then have to solve. Casting the spell within relatively close vicinity to the puzzle will instead show you where the fairy is located. Just please, just tell me. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Discover and solve. If you had a keen eye throughout your journey, there's a chance that you might have stumbled on a fairy too. But with 20 out in the world, it might take you time to round them up. If you want to learn more, uh, you'll need pages 47 and 48. I do believe I have those pages. I'm going to look them up right now. 47 and 48. Yes, indeed. I have them both. Alright, so there are fairies in those areas. Alright. Very annoying that it, like, doesn't really say... All they had to do, all they had to do was put Overworld in there once. So like, alright, no, that wouldn't work as well, but I don't know. Just like, yeah. Something. Anything. But then what is that? Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So there are 25 of those. Again, maybe I need all the pages to adequately do it, but okay. Secret gathering place. There is at least one fairy in the secret gathering place. How the fuck do I gather it? I know it's general vicinity then, but I don't know how to actually uh, grab it. Alright. Now that we're closer. Fairy, fairy. I'm going back to that little guide. Is there a way to grab the fairy? Alright. I just want to know. I just want to know how to get it. Because, yeah, this is definitely... Just like, ooh, aren't we cryptic? Being cryptic is so hot. But I'm just like, I'm just been annoyed by this. All right, so 
Eo, apparently you need to just follow the iconography on the walls. You know, in an isometric game, that's totally nice, guys. I guess, well, and I guess it's not terrible. Let's try. Down, up, right, up, right. I think I messed up. Down, right, up, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, up, right, up, right, up. Left, down, left, down, left, down, right, down. Ah, I don't think I like this puzzle mechanic, dude. Especially because this one's just so fucking long and like, we're gonna put rocks in front of it. Why, why, why? Why do you have to just be cryptic assholes? It doesn't make you smart, it just makes you assholes. I'm not sure if there's like a cooldown. Fine game, fine, fine. Fucking fine, I'm gonna tap it out. I am immensely frustrated. I'm just immensely frustrated. It is just annoying to me. Fine game. This fuck-ass game is like, you should have a second monitor so you can type out the fucking instructions. It's like, God damn it, game. I didn't think I'd have to be a fucking cryptographer to do this shit. God damn. All right. Now I have to type it out. Especially with how repetitive it is. to assume yeah this is just an immensely frustrating thing it's like leg okay you know what here's the thing if I can do this on my own I'm just gonna look up fucking guides for the rest not where, like where they are specifically I'll do the stupid find fairy spell but I'm just gonna look up hey what combination of stupid buttons do I need to push to get this because this is just so jank this is the jankest shit in the world also hey that I can't even see my own mouse cursor on the game so I can't even follow it. Oh no, you can't do that. That that would just be too much. It would be unfair to the game. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. 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 Losing my mind. Take a look. All right. Down. Right. Down. Left. Down, right, down, left. Why, oh why, oh Billy boy, Billy boy, I hate you, Lou. All right, I'm just going to assume. Yeah, because it is. 
left, down, right, down, left. Down, right, down. Okay, I assume it's what that is. Down, right, down, right, up, right. Well, time to do this and see if it works. No, I think I messed it up somewhere. I hate this. Oh. Aha. Aha. Why? This isn't fun to me. This is just obnoxious bullshit. This is just obnoxious bullshit. Oh, uh, we're gonna just cover everything with fucking rocks. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, that's why. I probably missed one in there. Ha la 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 Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Down. Left. Let's see. Really wish the camera would move more. Ah. Alright, alright, alright. Just trying to look this over. See if I can get it. It's just like, why? Why just move the rocks, please? It would be hard enough to follow it on its own. You don't need to fucking make this so bullshit, man. <laughs> this is just killing my fucking fun. All right. Let's read from there. That would be left, down, left, down. Left, down, right, down, left, down, right, down, right, up, right. Should have been right, should have been down, right, up, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, up, right, up, right, up, left, down, left, down, left, down, right, down, left, down, right, down, right, down, up. Wait, that's where it is. I messed up somewhere there. All right, bleh. All right. I just, I hate this. This is hurting my soul. Down. I think I just missed one right in there, maybe. Or maybe I just don't need that down. Because let's reverse engineer it again. Ha ha ha. All right, so the right, right, up, up. Then right, right, down, down. So yeah. Down, right, down, right. So that's probably what I missed. That guy. Down, right, up, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, up, right, up, right, up, left, down, left, down, left, down, right, down, left, down. Right, down, right, down, right, up, right. I'm gonna eat your soul, you fuck ass game. It's just not interesting to me to deal with this bullshit.
It just hurts. That's all this is. All it is. All it is is pain. Oh, there's just pain. It's just... Ah! Just frustrating! Fuck! I don't even know, I just like... Was doing it again and 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 again. Ah. I do not enjoy that at all. Again, it would be hard enough for me just to like follow it in time. But no, but hey, I think I know where one of the fairies might be just on its own now. Then. Because you know that, like, golden chest I was like, oh, in front of the bibbidi bob Maybe there's something we need to, like, do here. I don't know. Because, again, I do not want to deal with this. I know, let's do the fucking find fairy call. Well, apparently there's one here, but I don't know how to bring him out. Maybe these tile have something to do with it? Don't know what that would be, but... I don't even know. I don't even know. Because again, this is the type of thing that like, apparently there's a fairy here. How do I bring it out? I don't know. The game is like, ah, cryptic bullshit. It just hurts. It's not fun. But yeah, I'm just losing my mind over this entire thing. Just crypticness upon crypticness. And it's just like, the reason I didn't, I probably would have like thought, oh, I must travel the dibbity da if the rocks weren't there. But they just decided to be assholes and put rocks there. Why? It's just, why? And apparently it's like, oh yes, 100% completion, follow the golden path. It's just like, fuck off, assholes. This isn't fun. Not for me. Back off. It's just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> the third act of Tunic is really losing me. That's the best way to put it. Just, the third act here is just losing me. Because there's just so much. Just like. Bullshit, in my opinion. And right now I'm just following the locate, like where one should be, not the like actual dippity da. Like I don't even know. I'm just losing my mind. Hmm. 
He's like, I want to find where more of the fairies are purely to be like, is this even slightly fair? Is my... This is even remotely, like, worthy of bothering over. Because I am exceedingly near just saying fuck it. And heading out. Alright, apparently there's one in here. Okay, that one seems more straightforward. At least it should be. Hello, game. I'm. I'm this is doing from the start. Up, right, down, right. Oh, um. um okay. I needed to double tap the directions of dashes. You know, something they never told about. Okay. Alrighty then. But that still doesn't, now that we know the secret of that page, we know the secret of this. What the fuck about you? I can only assume that maybe, maybe if we get like a bingo with the pages, like basically if we have all the pages for a line, it will disappear and reveal something. That is what I'm assuming. And I already was ever so slightly spoiled because in my anger, I was just like frantically reading up on the various fairy things, but not too much. One thing said that apparently some of the fairies might give pages, so I don't know. Okay, the fairies seem to be leading out. But yeah, I am just immensely angered at times at super crypticness. Like, I kind of get it. We want to be special. Also hate that the fairies don't always come out. Okay, let's try on the keyboard. Alright, they're going down. But no, you know what? I think I'm going to just rest at the diddly dee, and then next time we'll be devoted to fucking fairy hunting. With liberal use of guides, if it comes to it, because I am not dealing. I am not dealing with another diddly dang god baga 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 ba. Basically, if the puzzle is not immediately available to me, and I'm like, oh, I need to actually look for it, I'll actually look for it. But if it is even slightly, even remotely, like the fairy cave, I am looking up the answer, because screw that. <laughs> I might have a bit more patience if it weren't for the fact that the... Uh, Cathedral was already kind of a clusterfuck of who the fuck designed this compared to the rest of the game. Because I sure do enjoy that two hour romp where the world. Because here's the thing if the world was just kept different, it would have been cool, but no, you get your body back and everything goes back to normal. Which kind of blows my mind in the Y department. And also, I kind of don't appreciate. The game being like, oh, we are so quirky and cryptic. Go get 100%. <laughs> I don't mind games that are like, yes, you need to complete the whole thing. Like Shantae the Pirate's Curse literally tells you, hey, go do 100%. Hollow Knight kind of says, hey, go do 100%. Like various games do tell you, hey, go do 100%. But if you're a cryptic game... 
and you are touting your crypticness. How dare you demand that I go do 100%? Oh, but we put all of this, like, lore and hidden stuff. It's like, some of it is nice, I will admit. Some of it is nice. Let's go find one bit that I did enjoy. It should be, like, over here. I enjoyed this. Like, what is that? And it's like, oh, go down. And then you're like, oh, I only know of one bed. And it says house. So you go there, go to the room, go down. You find it. That's a cool bit of crypticness. Bit less so with this where, I don't know, it was like, this made me feel like, oh, you have to throw the coins in different wells, but that's not what it is. We still haven't found the other upgrade item. I still don't know what that is. It's probably its, like, multiplication value of being good. But, yeah. There's various hidden pieces and various crypticness, but when... You hit cryptic overload, like, what is, question mark, question mark, question mark. I can only assume it's like, oh, you do, like, maybe fire damage, but you have no health, so if you need to, hmm. All right, we're going to try one more thing, just to sate my curiosity. Maybe fire, light the fire thing on fire, I don't know. We already got the fairy in there, so I kind of doubt this. But I just have to try. I'm interested in trying. All right, wrong button. Nope. Kind of nice that it returns your health to what it was before, but yeah. Basically, if any fairy puzzle is like that in the future, oh, you need to... No, that is time-wasting bullshit. It isn't, oh, you need... like I'm not... I, I didn't sign up to be a, car, a cryptographer. I didn't sign up for any of your shenanigans like that. I'm here for, like, try to find patterns and then do the patterns. The one in the old house, that is fine. Everything else is not fine but yeah let's just go over the crypticness that currently awaits us i am fairly certain that with this we just need to get the various pages because like we don't have 55 we just need to get more pages and hopefully things happen and yeah next time Next time we stream Tunic, I thought this might be the end, and then I thought, oh, we'll have just an easy time next time. Nope. Next time, we will go to the various named places, like Great Library, Fortress of the Eastern Vault, East Forest, West Garden, West Garden. And then I'll just look up a fucking guide of where the other locations are, because screw you. Like, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I'll look up a way of, like... I, 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 Ah. Like, it would be interesting to, like, if there was, like, a way to easily translate myself, but, like, unless, let's re let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine letters in cathedral, unless I'm just horrifically bad and my internet's dead. Hilarious. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Presumably. So if that's a C, so C Hmm. This would be pretty difficult to So yeah. I assume that's C. That's A. Hmm. Wait. That can't be C because that's also there and there's not another C in Cathedral, so... Yeah, I just wish that there was, like... 
an easy way. Of like translating the things, but it ain't it ain't easy. So I uh, hate hate just aggravated just aggravation. And another reason why I'm kind of like on the screw your crypticness train is because of this. Fuck you, bird. But yeah, next time we stream, we'll be looking for various fairies, probably looking up guides on where the fairies are because <laughs> fuck wandering around for that long over fairies with stupid puzzles. Because there is the sense of, like, learning to find the thing yourself. And there is something nice about that. And then there's cryptic bullshit that just wastes your time. I mostly just want to... Like, I do want to discover most of the things myself. And, like, maybe I won't use the guide nearly as much, and I'll mostly just wander around the overworld doing the Bibbidi Bop seeking spell most of the time, because uh, that can probably lead me to the proper places, maybe. The one that appeared to be outside the first Holy Cross Golden Road door that we opened up. Uh, where uh, where that's like a fountain was and all the ghost spirits were hanging out uh, that appears to be a fairy spot and I do not see any immediate answer to that but I could be wrong so yeah we're probably going to make liberal use of guides next time that we stream this because I value my time enough at least enough at least so I won't force myself to be like, I will find them without a guide, because yeah, that first fairy puzzle in the fairy room just tried my patience. It is a waste of my time. Just get rid of the rocks and let me see the mural. Like, maybe only have the opposite side showing, so I have to do it in reverse if you want to still have a puzzle, but having super long puzzles that you basically have to turn away from and like jot down on a piece of paper or a Google document just kind of bores me. It do I, that doesn't in I do not enjoy that. Beep -a -dee -beep. But yes, the overall this has been a mixed bag stream of Tunic. Because we went through the scavenger area, which was cool. And we went through the creepy area where they were boxing up the ghost spirits. The emaciated ghost spirits at that and using them as power sources. As like an, an automated process. We beat the scavenger boss. We freed the heir who betrayed us. Or maybe never was on our side to begin with, but who knows. And... Then, we became a ghost, which was kind of interesting, but they took away all of our stats, forcing us to get them again. And then once I thought, oh, it'll be kind of interesting to traverse this uh, new overworld, they put the overworld back the way it was once we got all our stats back. So it's just very a mixed bag. It just kind of feels like a bunch of faffing about and wasting my time. And, again, kind of feels like the developers were ever so slightly on the we're very clever, look how clever we are with our crypticness and creating a language that is written down and we provide no translation whatsoever. Would actually be nice to have read what the ghost spirits had to say. That would have been nice. 
and I never once saw a good opportunity to actually try and crack the language of the runes so that I could, like, piece it together myself. And I even did that once. I forget what game or what it was, but... Oh, yeah. It was uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver, or slash Crystal, I believe, where I actually went through and read Unknowns. And those fucking things already look like the English language, so trying to understand and translate the runes would be also very annoying. I'll try not to look up too many guides and stuff about this stuff next time we stream, but the game kind of lost me here ever so slightly. And the cathedral still sucks ass with its out of nowhere gauntlet. I still th I still say that the gauntlet should have just been a series of rooms. And then you could have the rooms be a bit more difficult on their own, but then once you complete a room, that room is completed. So there was actually a sense of progress rather than a brick wall. And who knows, maybe they thought, we need to be more like Dark Souls, and they put that in. But Dark Souls, I don't think, really has much like that. Maybe a boss that I played, but... I played through Dark Souls 1 and uh, Elder, uh, Elden Ring and Sekiro and never really ran into anything like that. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I felt like that gauntlet was ever so slightly unfair. So maybe it's just me, but taking away our, the upgrades and throwing literally the single most amount of enemies that has ever been on the screen multiple times in a row per encounter is just kind of bad design if you ask me like that maybe should have been some like i don't know maybe the air's place should have been a physical location and to get to the air you need to fight the gauntlets but then you could do that with your actual upgrades maybe bleg but yeah we will continue the adventures of Tunic next time. If you enjoyed what you saw, I have a YouTube channel where these various streams get uploaded called Neon Icy Games. You can watch various playthroughs like Mass Effect 1 through 3 and Undertale are currently up there. Oh yeah, and Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Just various stream throughs of these games that I have already played on Neon Icy Games. Then, if you want to watch more streams live here on twitch.tv slash neonicywings, you can just check the channel's schedule uh, tab. I try to keep that weekly updated of at least which days and time I go live because brain is fickle. So yeah, if you ever think of like when I'm going to stream, I should probably keep a tight schedule, which... Right now I'm aiming for Monday, no not Monday, but Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Those are the days I'm kind of aiming for to stream, starting at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. But that's always subject to change on the given of a fickle mind, but I'll try to keep it to going live on those days. But at the same time, when in doubt, check the schedule on the Twitch channel. And if you want to see art, like my little icon in the corner, I try to upload art to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. You can follow all those at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, thank you very much for watching and putting up with this nightmare, nightmare world, because this was much more trying of my patience and difficult than previous two extremes. And I had to do it all alone, with no guidance except for random internet articles when it came to the fairies a little bit, because, <laughs> fuck that puzzle. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>